today's top stories. London has endured another night of German bombing. Most damage was concentrated in the East End. The RAF has struck enemy aerodromes in La Havre and the Low Countries. In Russia, further German losses are reported around Leningrad. In Asia, the American fortress at Corregidor is still defiant, but Japanese forces are reported nearing the Burmese oil fields. And that concludes the news summary. We now return you to our music program. Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Jacques here. Welcome to Titanic Adventure Out of Time. Absolute family f uh, favorite. I was going to say family friendly. It's not really family friendly. I mean, it kind of is. It's just got a lot of language in it. Utility. Wreck of the Titan. Lord Lady Lambeth. Obituary. Titanic Disaster. Uh, or we could turn it off. Let's see. Yeah, that's a bit sinister. Oh, much nicer. Mamas and rich spaghetti, household milk, pure dried eggs. Hmm. Okay. Scrub a cockroach, perhaps. Yes. like a tarot card, if you ask me. Mm, yeah, 13, too. <laughs> Quite unlucky. Brave new world. It's just like, uh... It's just like when the when women were starting to get into the military and stuff. Either a smoking ad or smoking is bad for you ad will affect the or something. Let's see. Ticket for the Hindenburg. Hmm. What's up with that? of August 1914, His Majesty's Government regrets to inform you that your services in the Office of the Secret Service are no longer needed. Termination to be effective immediately. With regrets, Commander TST Hitler. Group Leader? Oops. Hmm. Heard you're back from France. Uh, hope you'll even the score yet with the bastards who fired you. Sorry to bring it up, but I think you were treated horribly. No references, no pension. 
What will you do next? Keep me posted, Jack. Looks like uh, India or something. Looks like war in Europe, doesn't it? Situation here? Nervous. French are still wine, women, and singing it as usual. What will you do if there's fighting? Keep fixing watches? Seriously, I know whatever happened on the Titanic was bad, but it's 25 plus years. You can't change the past. Look ahead. We'll talk when I return. Cheers, Jack. Hmm. Yep, yep. It's Taj Mahal. Delphi. Or something. Dearest, having a great time. Ran into Jack in uh, Bombay. He's worried about you. Says he hasn't heard from you since you left the the uh, the clinic. I told him you're repairing clocks. Are you still? Such an odd choice for someone with your skills. Jack to Daddy. I'm s I'm sure there's a position with his firm. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, I think that's his firm. Yeah, you know I mean, Heat's beastly here. Love, Dina. Carlson. Stanley Crescent. So our character's name is Carlson. Last name, anyway. Our dude uh, smokes a lot, you see. See here, this isn't about your dedication. Pringle certainly attests to your loyalty. No, your dismissal stems from the Titanic mission. That failure can no longer be ignored. Especially now. I am sorry. But someone must shoulder the blame. The service, you understand. We can't be held responsible. Hmm. So something bad happened on Titanic. We were in the Secret Service. And we were supposed to do something, but we didn't do it. Picture of Churchill. But oh, we're in trouble. Zeppelin. Is that a German Zeppelin? The past forever locked in regret. But what if the past could be changed? Mm, just got chills. Thirty years have come and gone since the night that saw the end of a world, my world. The service needed to on the Titanic. They chose me. Sorry. I was to wait for a signal from my contact. So, I remained in my cabin. I left only once Georgia was on board. And that's when it came. There'd be no second chance. It was Sunday, April 14th. Too late, you see, for the Titanic. For me. What if I'd met with my contact? Prevent a disaster? What if the past could be changed. What then? There it is. Uh, I 
this little menu, orders, berries, oysters, olga, cream of barley, salmon, muslim sauce, cucumber, filet, mignon, lily, salad chicken, light bayonets, vegetable marrow farce, farces, lamb meat sauce, or stuff, lamb you know, sauce, lamb beef, chateau, potatoes. This all sounds very good. Green peas, cream and carrots, boiled rice, parmentier, and boiled new potatoes, punch romaine, roast squab. What's squab? Cold asparagus, vinaigrette, pate de foie gras, celery. I'm guessing that's some kind of vegetable since those are other, looks like there are other kinds of vegetables that they make up. What's the term? Uh, what's the term I'm looking for? It's like, you know, hey, ah, dang it, excuse me, Waldorf pudding, peaches, and chocolate jelly, chocolate and vanilla, and French ice cream. Sounds very good. Probably better than Chinese ice cream, which, you know, I've lived in China, and it's not that great ice cream. Entree, that's the word. That's the word I was looking for. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Let's see. Watch here. Maybe it's not on deck. Don't know. Is that a... Oh yeah, that's an iceberg in the distance. <laughs> and I apparently have no reflection. Oh. Good evening. I am Smedles, your steward. Hello, Smedles. And if I may say so, it is good to see you up and about. Thank You've you. been in your cabin the whole voyage. I have. A touch of the Maldon Mare, was it? Seasickness can be quite unpleasant, especially if that makes one's sense. bad out of the sea. Since you haven't been out of your cabin, may I instruct you on how to get assistance while on board the Titanic? No, I already know how to play, but I'll just do it for you all. Very good. We of the White Star Line the hope White. that your stay on board Titanic is as relaxing as possible. As you explore the ship, Please bear in mind the following advice. The mouse is your hands, the keys your feet. If you find the screen too dark or too bright, follow the directions on the control screen help panel or consult your manual on adjusting your monitor. To find the control panel help and other features, click on the life preserver at the bottom of the screen. The control panel has a help button. Quit breaking well the fourth wall. And save game feature. You may also adjust the volume. Test the settings by clicking on the black knob. You may also switch the theme music on or off. After making any adjustments, click OK to return to your current game. Wandering the ship, if you notice a hand, it indicates something to click on. May I suggest you do so. Several personal items in your room, a brown satchel and a pocket watch are quite useful to you during your voyage. Yeah, I got those. Take them with you. You shall want to converse with other passengers. If you fail to understand them, click on their face. They will repeat their last sentence. The <laughs> purser. His office is on sea deck, just off the forward grand stairs. The elevator, or lift as we call it, has an attendant who can direct you to various sections of the ship. The lifts are located behind the forward grand staircase. Lastly, you may always find me by returning to your cabin, C-73, and ringing the bell to the right of the door. Mm -hmm. Your correspondence. 2,200 on board, and they all want messages delivered promptly. Yeah. Even if it is 1912, 
and the Titanic, the most advanced means of sea conveyance ever devised, I still have only two hands. <laughs> Not complaining, Here, are you? A map of the ship for you, oh, with thanks. compliments of the White Star Line. I have taken the liberty of indicating your cabin, C-17. Thank you. Of course, on a Sunday evening at this hour, there won't be many people out. Will there be anything else? Um, who is PP? A young lady. A most insistent young lady. What is the electric camel? The electric camel? An exercise device. They say it is good for the liver. I wouldn't know. It's located in the gymnasium, on the boat deck, on the starboard side. That's the right side, in case you had not been informed. <laughs> That's the left side, Kyle. Um, are there other terms I should know? Most certainly. Remember the term forward. It means towards the front, or bow, of the ship. The term aft refers to the Titanic's back, or stern. Have you unpacked? You'll find your trunk key in your bag, on the bed. If you require additional assistance, please ring the bell by the door. Good night. Where are you? Uh, and the music kicks in. Ooh, what's this contraption? Gold channel. His Majesty's government has assigned an agent of the Crown to rendezvous with you on board the Titanic. Remain in your cabin until your contact gives you further instructions. After completion of all your assignments on board, book passage to remain on the ship and return to Southampton for your next assignment. For a more in-depth report of the international situation in the spring of 1912, Please review the white paper included as part of this briefing. That is all. Okay. This must be a confidential. Uh, Pre World War One, thinking things looking mighty unstable. Spring of 1912, Europe is the dominant center of the civilized world, bursting with energy and power. It is also a house of cards. Called together by diplomats and old dynasties at the Congress of Vienna in 1815 to restore order after the devastating Napoleonic Wars, the structure of nation states has endured for nearly a century. But rumbling subterranean faults threaten to plunge all we have built into the abyss of mechanized global. Despite such dangers, English liberals, intellectuals, and progressive businessmen choose to believe the sanguine writer Norman Angel. His book, The Great Illusion, has become a published publishing phenomenon, electrifying the Oxbridge campuses with his postulate. War is unthinkable. A modern war will be terrible and so disruptive of the global economic system, he says, that both victor and vanquished will be devastated. Global finance and economic interdependence is so great here in this that no nation will risk war. Nothing is further from the truth, as you shall read. Let's see, is this gone for a while? I'll just go ahead and show these so you guys can read it. Personally, I'd like to read it too. Um, I just don't want to take the time uh, reading in this episode. Hmm. Hmm. All 
eyes. Let's see. Just so, oh, hey, smells. Are you wandering about? Mm -hmm. There is a card game in progress in the smoking room, held by a French gentleman. Is that right? Uh, is the French gentleman a good player? Oh, I would never play games with the French. They cheat. <laughs> uh, thank you, smells. I suggest you contact the importunate Miss Pringle. If you're in a hurry, there are lifts for fast ascension and descension. They're behind these stairs. Good night. Thanks. Um, it's the purser's office. Let's see. Oh, here's the smoking room. So, let's run that. I mean, through a here, right? Ooh, vroom vroom. I move like a race car. Oh, hello. A fine night to be indoors. Cold as the dickens outside. Cold but clear. Uh, who are you? Clear as a bell, and the stars, oh, you should see a million stars in God's firmament. A congregation of light. The name's Trout. The Reverend Edgar Trout. I'm returning from a mission in Africa, to Sunapee, New Hampshire, where we... I mean, I live. Emily, my wife. She's dead. Mm. My sympathies. Thank you. We had looked forward to this journey. But she died at Port Sahid. Though it was Nyasalan that killed her, the doctors you know never did find all the parasites. Yeah. We just ended a hymn sing in the second class lounge. It's the Titanic's first Sunday afloat. Uh, not very nice. What did you sing? <laughs> For all those in peril on the sea. <coughs> Tell me, are you religious? Uh, gosh. Yep. Do not forget God, and do not collude with the godless. Gosh. There are many on this ship. Leyland Trask, for example, a seer, a clairvoyant. He claims the most outrageous blasphemies. Is that right? Remember, that which does not come from God is not of God. Wait, before you leave, I was wondering. Perhaps you'd care to make a donation to our mission in Nyasaland. Um, surely I would. I am very happy. I shall call upon you tomorrow to discuss it. Good evening. All right. What's, What's this? Cafe Parisian. Oh, hi. Who are you? I believe it is not correct form to speak to those who have not been introduced. Good night. Uh, but I was trying to introduce myself. Ah, okay. 
Ah, oh, look at that it's a Statue of Liberty. I wonder where that's supposed to be. Hello, who are you? I don't know you, nor do I want to. Leave me, or I shall summon a steward. Actually, they don't allow women in here. <laughs> <clears throat> Tell me. Back in the day when smoking was. Do you approve of women who smoke? Personally, I don't really approve of anybody smoking. Well, at least cigarettes. Cigars and pipes are fine. By me. Not nearly as bad for you either. Why? Where there's smoke, there's fire. <laughs> You're witty. Most men take their indulgences one at a time. Combine them, like women with tobacco, and they pitch fits. <laughs> Pity. Uh, you like coffee? <laughs> You're returning home? Andrew and I wintered in Cairo. We returned via Paris, where we ran into all sorts of people, including that charming German colonel, Zeitel. He had a great interest in rare books. It will be wonderful to be home. No dust storms, no lepers. Mr. Trask predicts a banner year for me. I've heard of Trask. Who is Trask? Trask? A brilliant seer. Brilliant! I consult him about business decisions and he's never steered me wrong. He instructs me to travel on only two ships, the Titanic and the Lusitania. <laughs> uh, lady, about the Lusitania, um, you might want to avoid that. <laughs> Tell me more. I must stop our chat here. I've other concerns. My maid, she's left us. Hmm. I'm sorry. Yes. Well, good night. Okay, so the Reverend doesn't like Trask, but this not very nice woman likes Trask. Makes sense. Oh, hello. Are you the French guy? Good evening, mon ami. Mm -hmm. Buick Riviera welcomes you to the tables. You look familiar. We make a meeting before. Dovi, the casino at Monaco, New Mexico. I lived there once, in Diamondback. Such a town. So, have we met? Well, in real life, of course not, but, uh... The hard drive cylinder. C'est vrai. Then we shall use my special cards. <clears throat> Is that right? We're playing. A, we're playing a game. Oh, we're playing. Uh, playing blackjack. Uh, let me see. Shoot card. Um, hmm. Okay, so it can't be a ten or a royal. So the chances of getting something smaller are better. Mm, stay. Oh. Merde. A draw. Another hand, mon ami? Uh, sure. Hmm. Oh. I need a royal or a ten. Ooh, perfect. <laughs> you are the winner. Magnifique. Thank you. Again? Ah, uh, no, I've got to go now. Good night. Good night, my dude. First class lounge. What's this? Yes. Ah, uh, can I come in? The lounge is closed for the night. 
we'd open it again only in an emergency, which we are not experiencing at the moment. Good night. Okay. That seems important. Let's see, what's this? Oh, yes, a deck. Oh, hello. Hi there. Riviera broke me. Damned Frenchman. What do you want? Uh, <laughs> I was just playing cards with him and I won. How do I get to the gymnasium? Elf nut, are you? It's on the boat deck. Above us. Uh. Night. Yeah, it's a night, all right. <clears throat> a regular night to remember. Try my facing. Uh, to forecastle deck, probably not. Oh, hello. Good evening. Third Evening. officer Morrow here. Hello, Morrow. I am sorry, but this is the officer's promenade. Is it really? No passengers allowed. You're the second passenger tonight who's been here. A young woman tried to enter the wireless room earlier. Such cheek. Probably a suffragette. <laughs> Regulations forbid passengers from entering the wireless room. Now, good night. Uh, okay. Don't mind me then, I'll just uh, mosey on, wait, second class stairs. Hello. Somebody over there? Hey there. Passengers aren't allowed on the bridge. Officer Moro's in no mood to accommodate passengers right now. He's misplaced his binoculars, and he's in a right proper state about it too. Off with you now. Okay. Uh ah, man. <clears throat> oh, perfect. Oh, hello. Glory be. It's about time. You're late. Another five minutes and I'd have cancelled your mission. Uh, you must be the one who sent me the card. Yes, I'm Pringle. Penny Pringle. From the Bureau of Secret Service. You didn't think they'd plunk you down on this bucket of bolts and millionaires alone, did you? Uh, well, uh, maybe? Uh, I'm sorry, sorry for being late. <laughs> You're pretty. <laughs> Some idiot in the war office booked me into second, not first class. And I've had a fine time of it, too. The crew wouldn't let me in the first cabin at all. It's just today I located you. Hmm. What did you want to tell me? Look at this. A German colonel named Zeitel. He's inspecting their embassies in Havana, Washington, and Mexico City. We know better. I've both heard of and met, seen him before. Well, I say meet because, you know, I tried to introduce myself, but he wouldn't have it. Ten days ago, the Bureau got word that Zeitel has in his possession a priceless copy of the Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam, stolen two months ago in Paris after its purchase by a very highly placed member of His Majesty's government. Uh, uh, what's the Rubaiyat? The Rubaiyat's a book, a collection of medieval Persian poetry, a passion of his lordships. Hmm. Poetry, Persians. 
The German high command must think it's important enough to have their top man smuggle the lot on board. Uh, is this my mission? Yeah. What's the hell gonna do with it? It's your job <clears throat> to find out. His lordship's watching this very closely. Very closely indeed. I wouldn't fumble this chance either. Unless you fancy spending the rest of your career in some grotty Midlands back office shuffling paper about. Uh, well, actually, uh, we, we know that later I end up being a watch fixer and clock fixer and stuff. Uh, is that traveling alone? No. <clears throat> He's with a protege. Name of Hedelitz, I believe. The two spend a great deal of time in the Café Parisien. Oh, yes. Pastries. That's where I met Zino. the wireless room. I don't know or care how. Officer Morrow wouldn't let me in. Ah. See if Zytel's received or sent any telegrams about the Rubaiyat. It was you. You've got a cryptograph in your trunk. It'll unscramble the German codes for you. You use the brains God gave you. Watch people. Listen. When you find the Rubaiyat, knock on my door. Uh, what cabin are you in? Cabin F, 34. Use the second class. F, 34. Stairs. You should be set. Remember, this is your big chance. Don't fail. Sir, yes sir, or uh, ma'am. Yes ma'am. Uh, is there stuff to click on here? South that uh, has not South Africa. South America is not um, divided into countries. Was this before all their revolutions and stuff? And look how big Russia is before it was divided. And... I'm kind of think of it. So many, so much doesn't look like modern day. Uh, my, my, has, has the world changed? Is this a punching bag? Oh look! My fists! Ooh. Ha! Don't mind me, Penny, I'm just having too much fun. <clears throat> but uh external rest of you. I haven't been here before. Hello. Hello. Don't think we've met. I'm Leyland Sacum Trask, metaphysical scribe and evangelist for the supernatural. I've been in London attending a conference on premonitions among the sensitive. So you're Trask. Um, uh, what is the sensitive? Where are you from? Sensitives or psychics possess increased powers of perception. A gifted psychic can take a personal effect from a complete stranger and, and tell you all about them. Hmm. Are your predictions reliable? There's a range, of course, but given the right training, psychics can reveal information hidden to others. Uh, what do you predict for the Titanic? This is a ship of destiny, which I think you is that right? Goodbye. Good night. Mm, let's see. Medic promenade. Forward, aft. 
so this is towards the bow, right? That's where I need to go, right? Uh huh. Yeah, wireless is the front. Uh, up, up the stairs we go. Vroom vroom, moving along. Oh, hello. Who are you? You came after all this time. It's Georgia. I'd heard you on board. Where have you been? Ah, oh, yeah, and you're the one who sent the note in the drawer. Uh, I was attained. I didn't know you were on board. Who are your mistakes? This is like the only good answer right here. It's been five years. I'd have waited a lot longer to see you again. Why didn't you tell me where you'd gone? Dina hadn't a clue, nor did Jack. My letters were returned. I'd just like you to show up now, with everything such a beastly mess. You must help me. Huh. Jack and Dina. Oh yeah, from the postcards. Help you? Uh, what are you talking about? You've no doubt heard the rumors. I won't deny most of them. I can't. What rumors? Even if the money's gone, I won't give the diamonds to Charles. Never. These are all that remains. My insurance hmm. for a new life without Charles or Sasha. Uh, Charles is probably her husband. Who's Sasha? Sasha? The owner of the Barbican Gallery? We're friends of a sort. He's sailing on the Titanic, taking some paintings to New York to sell. Please. I mustn't talk any longer. Take it. Take the necklace. It's my only chance now. Uh... Keep it for me. And don't tell Charles you have it. You can't know what he's like. I have questions. I said what I needed to, please. Leave me. Uh, okay, alright. Jeez. Vroom, vroom. Come here. Oh no, I'm busy. Oh, frick. Um, hi. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna waltz in. Uh, no, no, I'm not. Okay. Sorry, the wireless room's off limits to passengers. No passengers allowed. I heard you the first time. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, you were watched tonight? Yes, though the only thing to watch is the wireless room. <laughs> <laughs> they just keep bringing up more messages. Wireless telegraphy is all the rage these days. Hmm. Uh, wireless is quite a toy. I'm not interested in wireless. I'd like to see it work sometime. Not tonight, I'm afraid. I've got an uneasy feeling. Something seems wrong. Really? Uh, care for a drink? Nah, he's on duty. Um, the sea appears calm, though. Yes, very calm. Uh, is there ice this far south? Are you concerned about the weather? No moon. I don't like that. Can't see what's coming. No moon means surprises, as if we don't have enough already. Mm -hmm. Mr. Isme, the White Star Line's president's on board. We're walking eggshells round him, I tell you. <laughs> Though that's nothing compared to the creeping about my brother-in-law's doing at the moment. His entire London office is in an uproar. Uh, what uproar? Tom works in the Admiralty. Seems our plans for troop deployments against Germany disappeared three weeks ago. Tom says the big boys have petrified the Jerry's who get wind of it. Hmm. Could upset the balance of power. Politics. Desktop espionage. Bureaucrats. Ha! Give me the C. You can toss the rest. Hmm. Uh, tell me more about this. <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't care much for bureaucrats. You don't like politics? Never have. Not since the war. Especially these days, you know. Once you're in politics, you can't leave it, really. Uh, what war was that? South Africa. Boer War. The hmm. officer was a drinker. He was drunk when they trapped us out on the belt. On a moonless night, it was a massacre. We never saw them coming. Drink always leads to the devil. And another reason why you shouldn't, uh, 
ask him if or care for a drink. Yeah. Uh, they say war is unthinkable in this modern age. Then why are so many people thinking about it? Good point. Uh, no wonder moonless nights make you jumpy. An interesting connection. For all I know, it could be true. A man's got his troubles. Sick child, being away from home. But I hate whiners and apologizers. Well, thank you for your insight. Sure. Um, now may I visit the wireless room? Have a look, why don't you? Yay! Find you. Phillips will have my head if he catches you in there. But I don't see any harm. Go on in. Woohoo! So we softened them up. Sleeping quarters, probably where Phillips is now. Oh, music stop. Uh, I love the sounds. Set power to cinder ramp to orange. Okay. To send message set tuner to 200 kilohertz. To receive message tuner settings vary from 600 to 800 or 400 kilohertz. Okay. Um. Yeah. Apparently there is this. Uh, like I was watching on the Smithsonian. Apparently there was this uh, bit where um, Phillips, the radio operator, was uh, taking so many messages, sending and receiving so many messages, and some of the signals were so faint, he turned the volume and his headphones all the way up. And then somebody from like a nearby ship just sends him a message, the other radio operator who he knew. Just like, hey, how are you doing or whatever? And he's like, shut up, I'm busy. <laughs> and then they both go to bed or something. Um, receive. Right? Let's see. Six hundred and others were six hundred and four hundred. And okay. Yes, I can. See incoming Captain Antillian, 6 30 p.m. latitude 49 9 west, three large birds flying miles to the south of the west for Harms Lord. As in uh, Captain Lord of the Californian, or in the Titanic Greek steamer, Ethanai reports passing. Expert is ours, Cornelius and Field, that's okay. Wish you Commander. Captain Titanic westbound steamers were grown, okay. Couplings Bar, as in William Bar. Ha ha ha. Um, America passed two large accidents. Okay. So we got lots of warnings. Outgoing. Okay, so these are pass from passengers. Okay, return. Arrived Chicago by New York, April 20th, all 11 support to you. Mac and Lily during this sad and trying time with my son Bertie. Hmm. Wonder what's wrong. Uh -oh. Friend died or family member. Uh, John Lowell Nelson. Weather good Titanic superb ship may arrive early. Freighted Marsh. 
Edith will arrive White Star Pier Wednesday, 17th. Much news. Can't wait. Daisy. Oh, yeah. Huh. Yep. This is Brett and Shorty. Huh. Oh, well. Weird. Um. Hmm. So, what is this? Charges, charges to pay. Okay, interesting. All right. Yeah, that's Daisy from the the other the incoming uh, telegram. And uh, Jagerstrasse 11, Berlin, Germany. Okay. Click. Oh no, it just brings me back. Uh, okay. Got it. I was never here. Hmm. Interesting. Hey, bud, got anything else to say? Hello, what can I do for you? Uh, everything quiet out here? Too quiet. Uh, what about looking for ice? Uh, thinking about your family? It's Annie. With Matthew so sick, I worry about my wife. Uh, wish I could help. Could we Lynn Trask help? Could we Reverend Trout help? Could we Riviera help? I wish I could help. Medicine's expensive and we'll pay no bloody great fortune either. A one-way first-class ticket costs more than I make in a year. But who said life was fair? Hmm. Uh, good night, Officer Morrow. Good night. Well, who said life is fair? Where's that written? Alright, you still here? Oh, yeah. Hey, are you the... Yeah, it's you again. What do you know? You again. That's what I Don't said. Don't you love the sea air? <sighs> really clears out the sinuses. Max Seidelman, Philadelphia, PA. Buyer for Haymakers Department Store. The shop of <laughs> Spruce Street, they call me. What's eating you anyway? You're always in a rush. Relax, will you? Sure, I do Take move Max quickly. Advice. Get over it. Sure, you'll lose sometimes. Yell a little. Don't dwell. You a sporting type? Yell, don't you dwell. You look like the sporting type. Come on down to the smoking room for I a night yet. Riviera is looking for someone to play a few hands of blackjack with him. What do you say? Not much else to do. Not tonight. Brr. Cold as a cast iron commode out here. So, what do you say? Uh, so I've got other plans. Well, all I really got to do right now is decode the message and then try to find the room beyond. Um. Sure. Why not? Great. First, let's swing by the Parisian cafe. There's a man there named a Zeidel, a German. Oh. He claims he's a businessman, but he's got something up the sleeve, all right. I know the type. Believe me. Dollars hmm. to donuts. He's in some racket. So come with. Why don't you? We'll hit the smoking room from there. Hey, Carl. How you doing? Willie. Like you to meet a friend. A pleasure. Mm-hmm. Hedelitz and I, we welcome diversion during such an uneventful passage, don't we, Willy? Certainly. Willy is at the University of Vienna, <laughs> dissecting children's fables. C cultural mythology, it's quite interesting. <laughs> so only a junior professor, I tried to interest Dr. Freud. He's a genius, and I... I uh... Yes, I am sure, quite. On the passenger list, it says you embarked at Schorburg, yet I have not seen you with the others. You were there, were you not? Uh, I don't let make much of an entrance. I was feeling ill. Right, because I was seasick. I see. You are British. Mm hmm Not so many of you in Titanic's first cabins. These days, most of the rich are Americans. Businessmen like Max. Tell me, 
Why do you go to New York? Uh, I'm on holiday. I'm on business. Business? <laughs> How interesting. Considering the British are not so good at it. Oh, got him! <laughs> oh yeah, what do you do, Mr. Smarty Pants? <laughs> Me? Inspecting our embassies. Imperial Germany desires to make a good impression in North America. Billy is continuing on, <laughs> to the west, uh, to conduct research on aboriginal customs. The Indians, <laughs> they are fascinating. Yes, yes, however, I place faith in science, not superstition. The colonel was saying this wireless stuff's revolutionizing everything, sending messages to each other. It's the end of books and newspapers. Like the Titanic. Oh, believe me, it wasn't. Triumph. Here we dined in comfort while racing along at 20 knots. <laughs> it's still tied to the outside world by the wireless. That reminds me, Colonel Seidel, when I go to send you a telegram, they told me it was to be delayed. There are too many messages. The passengers... I am sure our guests do not care to hear a detailed discussion of your encounter with telegraphy. Now, if you will excuse me... Please, excuse us. Won't you call on us tomorrow? Here, in the cafe. The lens are towards quite passable for a British ship. Stop yeah. by. Wow. Billy and I welcome it most heartily. Yes, most heartily. And before I leave, you must allow me to give you some advice. But do not wander the ship. It is not good, I think, on a ship as big as the Titanic. So good night, right. friends. Good night. See? What did I tell you? What did I say? Them hmm. too. Up to something, I'd say. The brainy kid gives me the creeps. What a grind. He should hang out with that little blonde. She's a looker, I tell you. Come on, let's hit the smoking room. What do you say? What blonde? Uh, sure, let's go. Great. Go on up. I gotta see a man about a horse. I'll meet you in a few minutes. Goodbye. Uh, shows uh, time passing by. Hmm. Hmm, what's this? Huh. Did I decide to leave his pipe? Well, I think we'll go ahead and leave it here. Yeah. You're a smart man, Max. Zydo's bad news, that's for sure. Zydel had. Love me in! Love me in! <laughs> oh, hello, who are you? But my dear, it's Daisy, Daisy Cashmore. Surely you remember. Oh, you are naughty thing. Don't think I didn't know you'd snuck on at Cherbourg. Smethels told me all about it. The old boy's always dripping with news. I heard about Lord and Lady Lambeth. <laughs> Ruined utterly. Scarcely enough left for appearances, I'm told. I always liked Georgia. Married Charles for his name and his fortune, sensible girl. But she's made her nest. Now she must live in it. Well... Um, cool. I oh, yeah, you're Daisy Cashmore from the telegrams. Please tell me more. Could we get to the point? I must go next to you. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> Please tell me more. What do we think? Gorgeous, I don't know. It? Everyone's raving, gushing, what? the Titanic couldn't oh. be more fabulous. And the sailing couldn't have been more convenient. Everyone's here. The Astors, the George Wideners, the Countess of Ross, such a wonderful girl. The Strausses, I saw them on D-Deck tonight. The Ryersons, the Henry Harpers, I could just go on and on. And the ship's so very advanced. I was just saying to my dear friends, the Carters, they're bringing back a motor car, do you believe, in the cargo hold. 
Bill Carter checks it daily. Really, every day he keeps the keys with the purser. And of course they let them. The Carters are fantastically rich. Lucille doesn't understand the attraction at all. With men and machines, I tell her, we girls play second fiddle. Well... Well, I guess back in the day when technology was like this was pretty amazing. Um, I mean, it still is, but to me, at least, um, I guess, yeah, it would have been really cool. Um, please continue. My dear, I have a little favor. A tiny, tiny, tiny one. Uh, with pleasure. No, I can't. Tonight at dinner. A man, I don't know, was making eyes at me. Be an absolute darling and find out who he is. Well, you are kind of cute. Uh, how should I do that? Look him up in the passenger list. All I know are his initials. G. Q. C. The list's someplace. Find it. I'll wait right here. Ta! Okay. Well, uh, while I'm in the neighborhood, I might as well, uh, check in the smoking room, because Max said to go up on later. How you doing? You a police, you too? <laughs> you know, you're letting me do all the talking. If you don't mind me asking, just why are you headed to New York? Uh, work play. <laughs> Good night. Uh, work, buddy. <laughs> Guess we all got our secrets, don't we? See you around, bub. Good night. All right. Um, well, while I'm here, might as well play. Sayola. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm here for. Me. Okay, so there's no way I can get a bust this next card. Hmm. I'll stay. It's nineteen. Ugh. <laughs> The cards, they played well. I win. Again? Uh, yes. Uh, hippie. Ah! I'm afraid fate is not with you tonight. Oh, yeah? I win. You like to play again? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Eesh. Okay, it can't be a 10 or a royal. Five, so 15. Ooh. Okay, good. Woohoo! You have won. Yes, I did. Another hand, mon ami? No, I gotta go now. Bon chance, mon ami. Good night. Thank you. Um. Excuse me, Miss Daisy. I've got to. Um. Gotta go decode a telegram. Ah, okay. Cursor's office. There's a fly in here and it's really annoying me.
No, I don't want to decode the key. Can I just use the cable? Q S yep. P P A I X W B F C X Y A M. Decode. Rubaiyat hidden in boiler room three. Coal shoot four. SP will deliver painting after pickup will confirm. Sign. Cool. Smells would know. May I be of assistance? Um, I want to find a certain room or person. The purser. His office is on C deck, just off the forward grand stairs. The elevator, or lift as we call it, <laughs> has an attendant who can direct you to various sections of the ship. The lifts are located behind the forward grand staircase. The lift, or the elevator, or lift, as we call it, for you Americans. Uh, I want to know more about an inventory item. A certain Mr. Trask appears quite prescient about such matters. He's somewhere on board. Hmm. Uh, thank you. Before I forget, Lady Georgia desires to meet with you. She is outside on the A deck promenade. Okay. Oh, wrong way. Hey, buddy. Then I'm the lift attendant, and you'll not find one better at taking you where you want to go. Where to? I need directions, can you help? Righty, I know every nook and cranny. Um, more locations, more locations, more locations, more locations, more locations. The boiler rooms. The boiler rooms? Blimey! Passengers ain't allowed down there. Take the second class stairs down to F deck. I fancy there's some stairs down from there. May I take you somewhere? I'll see you, thanks. Good night. I just realized I forgot to check with the purser. Mm, can I use the bell too? Oh, hello. Yes, can I help you? Uh, I require assistance. Perhaps. As Persa, I'm in charge of the Titanic's passengers. Uh, what time's dinner served? <laughs> Five? Who are you, anyway? I haven't seen you about, and I have the passenger list. We've already had trouble with one lady in second who's tried crashing first class. Hmm. Uh... What about shuffleboard? Dick? are usually reserved for daylight hours. Uh, may I check the passenger list? Have you a name? If you do, I can tell you their cabin number. Burns. Wait, so you don't know who I am, but can I... Do you know where my room is? You're in cabin C-73. <laughs> it's like, you know, he's just got a list. You know, the passenger list, and... 
for C-73 occupied, but that one guy, I don't know his name. Uh, may I check the passenger list again? Have you a name? If you do, I can tell you their cabin number. I'm sorry, I'm so distracted by this freaking fly. Trust me, by next episode, it will be dead. Mr. Barbicum, Ooh. try cabin A14. I didn't mean to click that, even though... Even though, okay, it's trapped. Um, even though that's, um, um, Georgia mentioned him. That's what I'm, it's like, it's like, what are my thoughts? Have you a name? If you do, I can tell you their cabin number. Uh, more names, more names. Colonel's idol. The colonel is in cabin C-59. Um, check the passenger list again. Have you a name? If you do, I can tell you their cabin number. Really? More names, more names. <laughs> yeah, I knew exactly who you were talking about. When you were talking about a woman trying to crash first class. Miss Pringle. Cabin F-34, second class. <clears throat> what, are you rubbing it in or something? Have you a name? Okay, last if time. If you do, I can tell you their cabin number. More names, more names, more names. More names, more names, more names. Ah, passenger with the initials GQC. Let me check. Aha, uh -huh. Mr. George Quincy Clifford, A-27. Hmm. Uh, thanks for your help. I live to serve. Uh, good night. Very good, then. I don't know, uh, good night or anything? Um, huh. Let's see. Breakfast, sermons. I thought he said dinner was at five. Uh oh. The bar opens at 8, closes at 11.30. Smoke room lights are extinguished at 12 midnight. So it's As it Cool. Um, exchange of money. Christmas rooms prepared for the convenience passengers to exchange a limited amount of English and American money. 488 to the pound. Get an American. One pound for the. Cool. Hmm. Oh. I think I I'll go to B deck in style. Oh, where to? Uh, B deck. Mind the gate. Did you attend the party last night on D deck? Seen the lady Georgia, did you? Notice those diamonds round her neck. A bloke will be set up with those, and her. Pity she's unhappy. Her husband always arguing with her, like just now. She's gone outside on A-deck. Almost there. Oh, I say, would you step? Are you hurt, Henry? No harm done. No harm. I'm so sorry. Try on my toe. We're the Goss Joneses from Holt Whistle, you know. How are you finding the crossing? Uh, very nice, thank you. Uh, I've been very busy so far. <laughs> very nice, thank you. You're English, then? I would have thought American. Oh, my, my. I didn't mean to insult you. Can't hold a thought. Dreadfully large place, America. Brain like as if she's got all that space and all those immigrants trying to fill it up. <laughs> commenting to Henry. You have oh, no idea. meets all the right people. Why we were just chatting with a delightful elderly couple in the reception. The Strausses, wasn't that right? Own a small dry goods store in New York somewhere. Called Macy's. On D-Deck. Right now, must you always finish my sentences? You're as jumpy as that American chap, that photographer. Yes, he was just snapping away. Taking pictures of some German colonel and, and that Englishman. Snap, snap, snap. War's coming all right, mark my words. War? How 
beastly will Mr. Burns have to fight? He and his wife, such sweet things. But I do see her point. It is their honeymoon. Why he insists on snapping those photos, I haven't a clue. For God's sake, woman, talk, 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 like a madam in a Rangoon body house. Henry, that's unspeakable. So don't speak, then. Yaps louder than a scrum of rabid corgis. <laughs> now see here, this Burns chap. If you want to see something interesting, take a look at his pictures. He's on sea deck Cabin C, 78. You ever get that feeling like you have no idea what just happened? Hello. Hey, bozo. Huh. Hey. Did you get it? Get his name? Yes, yes, it's George Quincy Clifford. Clifford? Clifford? Never heard of him. You don't suppose he's rich, do you? Uh, could be filthy, or uh, could be filthy. <laughs> You're an angel, and I've news for you, too. Oh, really? While you were gone, Andrew Conkling's been asking for you. Yes, Conkling, the steel baron. God knows what he's been doing in Europe, buying it, probably. And... Where was I? Oh, yes. Andrew Conkling asked me to pass along this. You know his wife, Beatrix, the designer? Such an eye! Her clothes the deserve the mode. best line. Couldn't be more flattering. Keeps the eye moving. Much nicer than Worth's. Uh, okay. <laughs> They're friends with Captain Smith. Smith! So handsome, so dashing. White Star's best officer. Or was. He's retiring after this voyage. Couldn't be more tragic. My dear, you've blanched. Bad news. Uh, good night. Certainly, certainly. I must. It's Mrs. Bullbank! Consuelo! Cool. Anyway, uh, let's see about seeing Georgia on the Adec Promenade, as it were. Ah, excellent. Ooh, look, I think that's her. Yep, it's you. It's her. I knew you'd come. Did you just wink at me? Uh, what's happened? Are you still upset? What's happened? Charles received a telegram from the solicitors. Our estate's to be sold off. He asked about the necklace I gave you. I told him I left it with a purser. Don't say anything to him or Sasha. Not him and his group of... Oh, there's much more to tell you. Can you meet me in my stateroom? I'm in B-70. It's Charles' custom to go for a drink in the smoking room. When he does, visit me. Cool. Uh, let's see. Okay, I believe the lift guy said to use the second class stairs to F deck. Right, that's where Penny's cabin is. Yeah, turbine engine casing. Okay. Alright. Oh, we got. Places to go, people to talk to. One pl one such place would be the oil rings, because we know that's where um, the Rubaiyat is. Uh, 
Yeah, but there's also a, a, a photographer on board. I want to. I think I'll go ahead and check out uh, if he's got any work uh, with Zidal, because uh, that couple that we ran into that brought him up uh, mentioned uh, something about a the German colonel, so. Hey, Trask. Hello. In need of psychic consultation. Mm, you could say that. Uh, what about Zydel's pipe? Hmm. You know, a medium told me the only danger in my life had come on water. Salt or <laughs> fresh, he did not say. Damn it all, I wish they'd be more specific. That pipe's been someplace quite humid recently. I'd visit the Turkish bath. Good luck. Hmm. Okay. Uh, bye. Good night. Let's see. Him, what do you want? Um, may I see your work? Well, unfortunately, I don't have time to show it to you. You must be very busy. Your dedication is admirable. Only a fanatic would develop pictures, and that's not very nice. Uh, your dedication is admirable. Gee, thanks. I think so. I wish Stephanie agreed with you. My wife's angry with me because I've spent more time with my camera than with her. She just doesn't understand that a photographer can't stop taking pictures, even on his honeymoon. Have you seen Stephanie? Oh, she's wearing a blue hat. I better wait for her. I think I found Stephanie. Hello. Good to see you again. Thanks. Uh, did you see Stephanie? Uh, yeah. She's in the grand staircase. She must really be sore with me. Maybe you should tell her to bust off. Maybe you should pay more attention to her. Uh, pay more attention to her. You've got pretty good advice. I'm going to find her right now. Excuse me. Good night. Not very nice. Hmm. Some nice, uh, nice seats you got there. Giants. Stresses too. I'm sure you wouldn't mind, you know. The Carters, perhaps. I think I remember seeing that picture on the, in the Titanic Exhibit Museum in Branson. 
Wait, those the same people. Yeah, I think they're the same people. Gelatine. Let's keep cool and dry. development for optimum results. Make sure you have turned off all light sources if your film will be exposed. Turn on dark room lantern. Just open film cartridge and remove paper. Place some start bath. Wait about 15-20 seconds. See your films. Place in start bath. Hmm, who's this fellow, I wonder? from the other picture was idle. Maybe the Englishman that the, that couple was talking about. It's like taking pictures of that German colonel and the Englishman. Hmm. <laughs> he looks more happy than him. Hey, Trask guy. Hello. In need of psychic consultation. Maybe. Um. I don't feel say anything about the. These, my friend, will surprise you. Mark my words. Really. Okay. Um, what about this fellow? You know who this guy is? Oops. 
That man is hiding something. He is desperate. Hmm. Zido and the same guy. These two are up to no good. They're making a deal of some kind. Hmm. Okay. Last one. Not a bad photograph. That's Willy von Hederlitz, is it not? No, it's Hederlitz. Hmm. Good, Good night. Oops. It's because I clicked one too many times. What am I doing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I need to go on the road back because I want to get to the second class stairwell. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Oh. She has been invaluable this voyage, a pillar. Oh yes, we're very glad she's with us. They say you met Trask. Uh, who told you? Uh, Trask sounds an interesting fellow. Be wary of him. Trask's a trickster. Take this card, a prayer card, from my own collection. Is there anything else? So, you must like this section of the Titanic. Mm, what section? Here, second class. You can get to Scotland Road from here. Do you know it? Scotland Road? Uh, what's Scotland Road? Scotland Road runs the length of the ship, from stern to bow on E-deck. It allows the crew to get from one side to the other quickly. I can go to third class if I take the Scotland Road. But I don't believe in social mixing. No, it, it creates too much anxiety. A place for everyone, and everyone a place. Though some don't choose to see it that way. Uh, what do you mean? In the course of my ministrations, I've observed a gentleman from first class. A young German, among the steerage women. Mm. Most, most unnatural. I haven't said anything. I wouldn't want to upset the ladies. Especially Miss Pringle. She seems a fragile vessel. Uh, believe me, buddy, uh, <laughs> Penny's anything but fragile. But, uh... <laughs> also, are you crushing on Penny by any chance? <laughs> okay, never mind. How do I get to Scotland Road? Behind me, through those doors. Uh, thanks. Good night. Wait, before you leave, you mentioned that you approved of our work at the mission in Nyasaland. I'd like to add your name to our list of financial backers. An auspicious honor. Oh, yes. Hmm. Um, yeah, let's talk about it later. I am very happy. Tomorrow we will discuss everything. Good evening.
Should I go meet Conklin first? Or should I go try to find the Rubaya? Probably the Rubaya. Conklin can wait. Let's see, is this the. Oh, oh some stairs. Regulate the steam by boilers one and two. So I don't have time for you. You're where you shouldn't be. Get up top before you're kicked up there. Uh, I'm on official business. Uh, perhaps I can solve that problem for you. Oh, I doubt it. She's really acting up. See? Still working the bugs out of her. See for yourself. Hmm. I'll help you. I'm sorry, women. I'll know it. I'll help you. Have at it. There's a gauge showing the turbine's power output. The needle's got to move into the green zone. Over here. Uh, okay. Well, bud, I really appreciate all the faith you're putting into somebody you just met uh, to handle the engine of such a big and amazing ship. Yep. Oh. Boom. Right smart, you were. She's running much smoother now. Say, since you were so interested, go on, have a have a peek in the engine room. She's quite a sight. All things pal. speak with you. You would? Uh, what do you want? Forgive me, I am sorry to intrude on you, a person of such high station. I am glad. Um, what are your troubles? I have men. I am leaving my home. I am a Serb and they have killed my wife, my children, the Austrian. For that they will pay. But, I do not want to burden you. Please, I need a favor. I have a right. friend in first class, in cabin A14. Mr. Babicon has a package for me. Can you bring it here? Uh, can't you get it yourself? Why are you down here? I am a stowaway. If I am caught, maybe they throw me overboard. Please hmm. get the package. I've eaten nothing since we sailed. Save for a rat who is not so fast. Hmm. Well, uh, for your sake, I hope that rat didn't have anything, um, or wasn't carrying something. Um, what's your friend's name? His name is Barbican, in A14. Tell him you've come from Blood. He will give you out the package. I wait here for your return. Your assistance will be repaid many for Barbican. Barbican, eh? Sasha Barbican? Hmm. See, we're in boiler room three, yes. We'll shoot four. Bingo! 
Ooh, we're fine. Well, this just seems like a good time to say. What do you think? All right, Vlad, I'll go get your package. You're leaving? Wait. I've been looking for this. Ah, uh, hey. Thank you. Um, excuse you. Um, okay. Well, it's a darn good thing I saved. Didn't I? All right, um... You're the guy from the photographs. I'm looking for Mr. Barbican. You found him. Sasha Barbican of Barbican Galleries. Mm -hmm. Now, what is it that I can help you with? So you're Sasha. Do you know Lady Georgia? I'm to receive a package for Vlad. For Vlad? He's on board? Please come in. <laughs> he did it. I told him not to, told him I'd pay his ticket, but he was too proud. Such a tragedy about his family. They were with my mother's people. Uh, what happened to his family? When Austria took Bosnia, they were killed. Many were. With his family dead, America seems as good a place as any for Vlad. Hmm. Uh, what will you do in America? Ask Vlad, I don't know. Here, his things. You'll be glad to get them. It's rather late. Is that you hinting for me to go? Um, do you know Lady Georgia? Our history is quite complex. You know she's on board. Certainly. Georgia's a woman who does not go unnoticed. She indicated that. Georgia exudes a certain romantic paranoia. A condition, I fear, worsened by Charles' own romance with whiskey. Mm. More than with drinks? Continuously. One hears there are financial problems. They say Charles owes Andrew Conkling thousands of pounds. Conkling again. I still need to meet with him. Can Georgia be trusted? Georgia? Have you talked to her? You be the judge. She's accused me of outrageous deeds, libelous, practically. I'm part Slav, you see, a Serbian on my mother's side. Georgia finds such a mixture a source for wild stories. Hmm. What will happen to her? Not much anyone can do, I'm afraid. Georgia's in clear need of a rest. Hmm. Uh, well, good night. Good night. And don't believe what Lady Georgia says. She's not well. Enjoy your voyage. Hmm. Is 
Sasha, Georgia doesn't want me to tell Sasha about the necklace, and Sasha doesn't want me, or tells me not to believe Georgia. In that case, who do I trust? Here, find that blasted book. Uh, I met a stowaway named Vlad in the boiler room. I'll see if I can dig something up on him. He may be down there looking for the Rubaiyat. I suggest you find out. Hmm. I met an art dealer named Sasha von Adek. He's a famous art dealer. How is he connected to all this? Well, he uh, knows Zidal apparently. He's hiding something, or they're doing a deal or something. Good advice. Intercept the Rubaiyat before it changes hands. Yes, sir, uh, ma'am. Hey, here's your package. Thank you. I must see Mr. Barbicon. I have bad news. He will not be happy. I am looking for something. Something very important. But it's not here. You have seen a small... It is of no importance. Good night. Yeah, you wouldn't happen to have seen a book around here, would you? <laughs> uh, well, as a matter of fact... Yes, I have. <laughs> Woo and oh, can we actually read it? Ooh! Wait for morning, and the bowl of night has flung the stone. Stone that puts the stars to fl has flung the stone that puts the stars to flight. And the hunter of the east has cut the sultan's chariot on the most of the night. Okay. Cool. That's a whole nother video right there. Uh, can we talk to. Oh, we can. What have we here? <laughs> the fancy dress ball's upstairs, mate. Ready? Check out the top. Uh, I'm lost. Why is everyone shoveling? The upper deck's boring me. The boys are so hard. The upper deck's boring me. Alright. You've come to see her guts, have you? How do you find your way around? Yes, and I think I've seen enough. Who made your boilers? Arland and Wolf, they are. She's got 29 of these monsters. Hmm. They couldn't have added, like, one more. They put out a lot of heat, don't they? Where's Harlan Wolf located? Belfast. That's where they built the Titanic. Not too fast, are you, Leadhead? <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Look, you unwashed dolt. <laughs> I'll see you fired for that crack. I thought it was Liverpool. Liverpool? I ought to pitch you overboard. Liverpool. This stuttering lobscouser thinks she was built in Liverpool. <laughs> Sod off. Excuse you. Hey. Alright, they're back for a right proper pummeling. Alright now, let's see what the toffs are made of. 
Come on, let it. Uh, you're really a jerk. Jerk? That's the best you can do. Jerk? You're just an ugly cur. <laughs> it's all the same guy. Not as ugly as your mother. <laughs> you're drunk and ugly cur. Holy fire, but it works. Not as ugly. Yeah. What? Nobody talks that way about me, Mum. Off with you. <laughs> Think you can out with a fireman like me? Think again. All right now. Let's see what the toffs are made of. Come on, Ledhead. It... You're really a jerk, too. Jerk? That's the best you can do. Jerk. You're just an ugly cur. Yeah, you're a drunken ugly cur. And you're a stupid ugly drunken cur. I'm stupid enough to boilers for a living. Oh yeah, well you're... Uh... Well they're a fine sight prettier than your ugly face. Better company too. Bugger off! Up top with you, now! <laughs> okay, what about you? Back for more, are you? <laughs> Alright now, let's see what the toffs are made of. Come on, let it! <laughs> what about it? It's all the same guy. <laughs> Back for more, are you? <laughs> Jerk! That's the best you can do, jerk! You're just an ugly cur. You're a drunken and ugly cur. And you're a stupid, ugly, drunken cur. Oh yeah, well you're a... Uh, son of a motherless goat. <laughs> jerk. <laughs> just call him a jerk again. Sorry, excuse for you and being back a chum. Landlubber. <laughs> Did you say landlubber? Ooh, Why got him. Lying, ugly, low-down, bow-legged, yellow, drunken cur. Who's all right by me? All right, stay if you like, but I can't mind you. No, thanks. Don't mention it. Where are you going? Oh, me? At shift's end, I'm stopping by F-59. Her name's Sheila Acker, and she's the prettiest lass on board. She may be a steerage girl, but she's first class by me. Cheers. Hmm. How about you? Sorry, mate. Find someone else to jibber jabber. Huh? Well, I uh, won his respects, and by him, I mean uh, all of them. <laughs> This is literally, literally just for looks. Okay. What's up here? Like I should be here. I didn't do anything. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Okay. Alright. Hmm. To Scotland. Huh. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh. Hello. Who are you? Hello. I'm Conkling. Good of you to come. I trust you're finding the accommodation satisfactory. Oh, and the man I've heard so much about. Uh, they are. Thank you. You're welcome. White Star's anxious for everyone to be as comfortable as possible, particularly on the maiden voyage. Makes sense to me. Uh, why do you want to meet here? Sorry to seem mysterious. You must understand, someone in my position, an investor in this ship, needs. Discretion. Why is that? It's a better part of valor. Why is that? You're under no obligation, of course. I have a slight problem. You may be able to help. A servant has stolen an important business document from me, and I must recover it. A few years ago, my wife Beatrix hired a young Irish girl as maid in our London house. We treated her well. Two weeks ago, she up and left without notice, taking a certain letter with her. I'd given up all hope of recovering it. Until my wife spotted her this morning on the third-class promenade. 
Needless to say, I checked with the purser. She'd been scheduled to sail on the Philadelphia. But those passengers were transferred on board the Titanic because of a coal strike. Hmm. You're lucky she's on the ship? Yes. You could say so. Why not apprehend the thief yourself? Uh, I'd prefer to employ the services of a third party. You. Uh, why ask me to do this? Government officials, friends of mine, told me a bureau agent was on board. I found you through Mrs. Cashmore, a preposterous woman, but she <laughs> does have an eye for accomplishment. Look, will you help me? You will be rewarded handsomely. Uh, perhaps. What's the maid's name? Her name is Shayla Hacker. She's 20 or thereabouts. I was her benefactor, one might say. Shayla Hecker, you say? Isn't that the girl, the boiler dude, once wanted to meet with at the end of his shift? Just her benefactor? Um, yes. This puts <laughs> me in a um, Awkward. difficult situation. Not just difficult. This young woman, she could cause considerable damage to me, to my reputation, if she goes to the newspapers. Mm, what's in the letter? Confidential business matters. Conkling Steel provides steel for ships. This ship, for example. If the contents of the letter were publicized, our competitors would profit greatly. You seem like bad news to me. This music really doesn't help either. Where's the woman now? I've gotten word to her to meet on the poop deck. Go in my place. Tell her there'll be no trouble if she returns the letter. Afterwards, report to me in our suite, B-59. Her name is Shayla Hacker. Good night. It's a very nice mustache she got there, though. Yes. Okay. Huh. Yeah, okay, perfect. Because I need a tell a penny that I've got the wood by it. Did you get it? Did you find the rubaiyat? Uh, yeah, yeah, calm down, calm down. Here's the rubaiyat. Let me see. That's the Rubaiyat, all right. Well done. Leave it with the purser for safekeeping. It shall be undisturbed there. Find anything else? Mm, yeah, uh, a photographer on board took these pictures. Quite significant. This man, here with Zeitel. That's Barbican. I'll keep this. Good work. Mm-hmm. Uh... Decoded a telegram Zydo sent. Smashing. What have you learned? Uh, the Rubaya was stowed in a coal chute in the boiler room. I was wondering how you got so dirty. There's a spot on your cheek. Yes, right there. You got it. <laughs> Zydo's exchanging the Rubaya for a painting you'll pick up later. More art? Zydo's no connoisseur. No, there's something about that painting of interest to the German High Command. Hmm. Well, I already told her about this, but, uh... I don't have any information about Vlad, but the other fellow, look here. Hmm. Zeitel's Titanic contact is a London art dealer named Sasha Barbican. Oh. It's contact, you say? They say he smuggles art, and he's not about selling stolen merchandise. The files say he's Serbian, interestingly enough, with links to some shady Balkan groups. Hmm. What do I do now? The painting is what Zeitel's really after. You must secure it. Where or how, I don't care. Just find it and bring it back here. Remember, leave the Rubaiyat with the purser for safekeeping. You might also know where the painting is stored. 
Sneak a peek at his cargo manifest. That should help you find the painting. Cargo stored somewhere beneath the forecastle deck. Things are thickening up quite nicely, aren't they? We've got to get our hands on that painting. Don't fail. Shayla Hacker. Oh, hello. Who's this? Who, who are you? That is not what I meant to do. What did I tell you, Shay? I knew he'd not come in person. Hush, Jack, hush. Conklin, he did send you, didn't he? Well, Conklin told me to meet with the lady. He didn't say there would be two of you. I told you, it's a trick. I knew Conklin wouldn't come. He sent one of his cronies instead. An Irishman named Jack, you say? <laughs> Jack Septicai in the game? Oh, are you Miss Hacker's friend? I'm her brother. And Conklin, because of him, Shayla's had to leave everything and everyone she knows. Jack, don't. That son of a bitch. She was his maiden all the time violating it. Hush, Jack. I'll have no more of it. Go on, Jack, say it. You tell Conklin we have his letter, and he'll not be seeing it till he coughs up a tidy sum, too. I, you know, I... I, I don't... Yeah. Alright, uh, how much money for the letter? Five thousand, do you hear? Dollars. Enough to get her started right in America. And if he moves a hand against us, I'll make sure the newspapers get the letter and print it. So tell Conklin. Five thousand. Measured against what he has, it's a bloody bargain. Hmm. I must go. Meet us here again. At one, tonight. Five thousand dollars, then he'll get his damn letter. Agreed? Well. Conkling does seem like, uh, he's bad news. Agreed. We'll be waiting for you. Georgia, Georgia, so Compton's in B-59, Georgia's in B-70, and she said once, uh, once, uh, Charles is in the, um, smoking room, then I should go visit her, so maybe I can just go ahead and kill two birds with one stone. Charles? Uh, who are you? Lord Lambeth. I'm traveling with my wife, Lady Lambeth. George has decided to take the air. I opted to take this. Uh, is everything alright? My wife, Georgia, she's... she's unwell. Yeah. Uh... Sorry to hear that. Yes, it's uh, not the best situation, I'm afraid. And uh, just one of my trouble. Mm. You 
kind of other drones? Too many to speak of. Where did things go wrong? With Georgia, how else? Let's see. Where'd you two meet? Four years ago at a house party. She enchanted me. We got married and we're happy. But Georgia's moods grew volatile. She imagined plots against her everywhere, even with Sasha. Hmm. I've met Sasha. Well, Sasha cares more for money than for her. I know that now. Hmm. I wonder what that means. Money means much to Sasha. Money to Sasha. <laughs> He's an art dealer. Money is everything to him. But Sasha has his secrets, and I know about them. Sasha has his secrets? Ever hear of the Black Hand? I have. They're a secret band of Serbian nationalists. They're girls to fashion the greatest Serbia out of various bits of the Balkans. Anyway, mm. uh, Sasha's half Serbian. His gallery is their London meeting place, though uh, I rather doubt Sasha's too involved. Terrorism isn't profitable. Besides, the Tatler Society coverage rarely extends to Sarajevo. Hmm. Uh, where is Sasha now? He's on board, actually, uh, shepherding a collection of paintings to New York. Mm, Sasha's taking paintings to New York? But uh, that's a secret. Good night. And if you should uh, speak to my wife, remember, she tells some fairly tall tales. Okay. Well, this one in the vicinity, I'll um, play some cards. A game, Monami? Yes. So my mouse isn't working properly. Um, matter of fact, I think it's a little bit broken. Ah, there we are. Uh, sort of. Uh, hit me. Uh, hit me again. Uh, seven. Okay. Stay. No. Merde. A draw. Another hand, mon ami? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Hit me. <laughs> I win. Again? Uh, yeah. What? Hey, whoa now. Uh, je regret, but Buick gets the blackjack. Another hand, mon ami? Yeah. Hit me. Ah. <laughs> the cards, they played well. I win. Again? Yeah. Ah, uh, stay. Woohoo! You win. You like to play again? No, I gotta go now. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Anyway, let's see about uh sixty-six 
some room. Ah, 15. Come in. I'd hoped to meet you earlier. However, my wife and I were calling on the Astors. Madeline's pregnant. Beatrix was thrilled. We have no children. Hmm. Uh, Jack wants 5,000 for the letter. I see. It's a ransom. May I present Mrs. Conkling? Ah, oh, you are. You should Mrs. pitch the ungrateful girl overboard. Charmed. Your clothes, French cut, quite fetching. Oh, I forgot you. to tell you when we first met. Beatrix is on her way to California. She's got a new project in. Where is it, dear? A cow town, someplace called Los Angeles. I'm doing up a little resort there. It's called the Beverly a, Hills Hotel. How much of a cow town? So, anymore? where is the Irish tart? Dreaming of her newfound riches? We were just talking about that, darling. Unless by my cow. My husband and myself mean. extended every courtesy, showed every kindness to Shayla. We've no children. Shayla became quite dear to us. So her theft hurt us all the more for the trust we placed in her. Don't fail us. Now, excuse me. I must retire. I have a frightful headache. Hmm. Maybe if you took off that hat. It was a pleasure. <laughs> Good night, Andrew. <laughs> My wife felt strongly about Shayla. As I've told you, we need no children of our own. Look, you must get that letter. Don't wait until tomorrow. See if you can speak to Shayla directly, without her brother. She's in the third class cabins forward, on F deck, number 59. Good night. I'll speak to you tomorrow. So you expect me to believe that you thought of Shayla as your daughter. Fifty two, fifty six, sixty, sixty six, seven, here we go. Enter. Oh. <laughs> I forgot to press the I forgot to go move forward. Could you move any slower? I wasn't sure uh, you'd come. Hmm. What do you know about Conkling? Andrew Conkling? He's loaned money to Charles. A lot of it, I think. Hmm. What did you want to tell me? First, I want to know how you fared these last years. Rather well, from the looks of you. I'm glad to see you. You're the only person I can trust. Please promise me you'll help. Oh, dear. <sighs> you do seem a bit crazy. And I've got two guys saying not to trust you. Then again, one of them at least seems like he's in some very bad business. Uh, yeah. You always were there when I needed you. Now, with my life a horrible mess. Uh, what's happening? When Charles discovered my affair with Sasha, he was quite calm. But I know him, you see. His revenge is taking the necklace, leaving me with nothing. And Sasha, I'd never trust him again. Don't you see? They're looking for guns, for bombs. Uh, where did you and Sasha meet? Who are they? Hmm. Where did you and Sasha meet? At a party last June, Sasha was quite passionate. A Slavic trait, I'm told. His mother came from Belgrade. I fell in love. 
We used to meet at his gallery, but we were never alone. They'd come at all hours. Sasha's friends. His gallery was their London base. They were rough men, foreign. Sasha told me they were part of a Balkan aid society. Stupid girl that I was, I believed him. But then I found out. These people, they... Charles! Please, Georgia, continue. Was it my title or my income you found so desirable? I was never sure. Now that both assets are depleted, why don't you go to Sasha? Maybe he can help, as he's done before. Ignore him. I see the smoking rooms had its usual effect. Idle gossip, apparently. You see his attitude? Please, go. Since she obviously can't depend on me. Here, take the chill out of the air. Thank you for seeing after my wife. Now I think it best you leave the happy couple, drowning in their happiness. Good night. Remember, I need your help. Hmm. What a mess. Seems like we're meeting a whole bunch of people that I can't be trusted. See if we can sneak a peek of the. Is this the cargo manifest or what is that? Thea, Thea, hmm? Thea. Oh, uh, what do you want? Uh, what about Mr. Thayer? Why? <laughs> what do you know? Not that it matters. I'm much too busy. I must get this message through from Mr. Thayer. Mr. Thayer expects his private train car to meet him in New York, and I can't leave my post. But. I need to send this telegram. Hmm, poor you. Um, could I help? Help? Yes, it might be helpful if you delivered this message to the wireless room for me. Even better, why don't you send it for me? Mr. Thayer is a very important man. So send the telegram at once. And when you have, don't forget to tell me. Hmm. Let's see. Ah, yes, and you check in the room I had. Very nice. Security is our first priority. I'll put it in the safe. Okay. Uh, good night. Very good then. Uh, let's see, is he gonna be triggered again? Oh. Only I'm allowed to access the cargo manifest. What do you want? That's all then, is it? Wow. All right. Let's uh, send a telegram, why don't we? Who knows, maybe there'll be another... Uh... What you call? shorter, come to think of it. I guess it doesn't really matter that much. Let's see. Don't mean me, Officer Marl. Let's see, uh... 
I'm gonna see if there's anything new as far as receiving messages. Let's see, tune into 800. Really is a pity, yeah. Tit like Titanic, just the first, just the maiden voyage, you know. All right. Now, as far as transmitting is concerned. Any new incoming? No. No, those are same. Same, same, same. Oh, that's different. Anyway. Northwest off play till seventeen Lord <laughs> Jihadi <laughs> Jade Jihad <laughs> Oh gosh. Well that's a sorry excuse for a telegram being sent, but uh I'm busy. <laughs> Oh, hello. Have you seen Georgia? Hi, Charles. Uh, why would you ask? Wow, gosh. Uh, I don't know where she is. Uh, maybe she's on the poop deck. Don't care for me much, do you? Why? Are you seeing a fact? Gosh, Georgia deserves better. Georgia did cheat on him, though, you know. Uh, what makes you say that? There's much you don't know. Uh, let's discuss it uh, over a drink. No, you've had enough. Uh, yes, it's freezing out here. Uh, shall we then? Oh, much better. Mm. A bartender of whiskey instead. Huh? Yes, much better indeed. Now. Uh, why was Georgia afraid of you tonight? Georgia. 
afraid of me. <laughs> it would be a reaction, at least. We no longer evoke emotion in each other. We are a husband and wife in name only. Mm. You know, I've been curious about why people drink soda with strong drinks, and I decided to look it up one time. So I was like, oh, okay, so it's because it's just to make it taste better. It tastes better, but also it it still doesn't... It doesn't decrease the amount of time your body takes to process the alcohol. It just makes it taste better. You said there's much I don't know? You may have heard I am in financial streets. I've borrowed money from Andrew Conkling, money that he is now demanding I pay back. I've none to give. Poverty mm. should remain the domain of the virtuous. I have no taste for it. Hmm. I wonder why you had to borrow money in the first place, and why you spent all of it. Are you trying to tell me that you need money? <laughs> I <should> tell you. <laughs> no, I shall fix things first, and without Georgia. Another drink, uh, another whiskey for, um... Uh, yes, in charge it to room C-73. I hope you don't mind if I do. Now, you uh, want to know some secrets. Uh, thank you, bartender. I'll tell you one. George's diamond necklace. Mm -hmm. It's a fake. The one on her neck, these days. I gave huh. the real necklace to Sasha. It's in his cabin for safekeeping. When he gets yeah. to New York, he'll sell it. Quickly and quietly. For 20% commission. I'll pay off my debts to Conkling. Put Georgia away, sail back to England free and clear. Hmm. Put Georgia away? She's unstable, as you know, so I'm placing her in a sanatorium. Yeah. Easy thing to do given her emotional history. The law favors the husband in these matters. She can do nothing about it. Oh, God forbid the suffragettes really do win women the vote. They'll never know their place again. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this time the shoe's uh, way on the other foot. In fact, it's up to the knee on the other leg. Uh, why doesn't Sasha sell it for Georgia? Because I threatened to tell Scotland Yard about his Serbian AIDS society, mm. and because Sasha's a greedy bastard, he'd betray his love for 20%. And Georgia thinks she's outsmarted me. No, she's got a fake about her neck and doesn't know. Another? Uh, not for me, Charles. Good night, then. You'll sleep well. The uh, whiskey and the sea are both smooth for a change. Hmm. I'm guessing you're getting a bit seasick. Hmm. Oh, I'm up here. Care for a blackjack? Yeah, that's what I'm here for. Actually, it's because I was talking to Charles. <gasps> Woo! Blackjack, you are the winner. Again? No, I'm good. <laughs> good night. Hmm. Anyway, I got a new to real mess, you know. It's just Charles borrowing money and him drinking and Georgia being unstable and you know maybe she's right about some things, but she is also unstable. And yeah, things are tough for Charles, but he's also not dealing with it. 
working well. So, you know, it's like they're both right and they're both wrong. It's just uh, one big mess. Anyway, let's see about this. Sent the darn thing. I meant to hit the bell. Aww. Yes, can I help you? I sent Mr. There's telegram, a poor excuse of a telegram, but. You sent it? Marvelous. I was afraid you'd forgotten. Mr. Thayer will be most grit uh, grateful. Shall I tell the Thayers? And let them think the purser's not doing his job. I am the purser, and as purser, I am the one who looks after the passengers. Mr. Thayer is Vice President of the Pennsylvania Railroad, and it is I who shall inform the Thayers that their train will be waiting. So, if you'll excuse me... No, it's not a click icon anymore. And he's not showing up again. Alright, now can I take a look? Mm-hmm. Thor, Praetorius, Carter. Oh, yeah, the Carter with his uh, case auto. Hey, wait, wait just a second. I realized I can't leave. Or I can't check my bag unless I leave. Parks until for one case, toothpaste, toothpaste. And Spencer Ian, Sherman, Claflin, Lemk, the name sounds familiar, Lemk, Boothner, Shipner, Shipping, one case artwork, painting and frame, Barbican, Galleries? Is that what that says? I think that's it. Okay. Gross. Spielman Co. Running Man. Sheldon. American Express. Uh, Gramophone. Old Oak Beams. You know, this scene is pretty heartless, but, like, you know, obviously, obviously it, it's really horrible, just with the casualties of the Titanic, but I'm, I'm also wondering just, you know, how much money went down the drain, too. I mean, just, like, let alone the Titanic, how... How much of an investment that must have been. Um, cool. Arrow Club, one crate machinery, one case printed matter. Okay. Wells Fargo. Mm hmm. Wait, somebody got. 
Oh yeah, all wow, look at all that cheese. <laughs> What's with all the cheese? Let's see. Dubois. Uh, Judas and Co. 70 bottles of cheese, American Express. You know, when I was in China, uh, something I learned is that the Chinese think that Americans smell like cheese. And then all this, that's not really surprising. 50 bundles of cheese, 190 bundles of cheese, 50 bundles of cheese, 40 bundles of cheese, 50 bundles of cheese, 50 bundles of cheese, 30 bundles of cheese, 10 bundles of cheese, 15 bundles of cheese. That is a lot of cheese. Well, at least we know a lot of cheese went down with the ship. Sheepskins. Okay. Right, because what I wanted to check. Yeah. Okay. Okay, good job. Wait, isn't that a typo? Oh. I think he's back, so I can't check it again. Let's go up in style. Hey, I'm the lift attendant. And you'll not find one better at taking you where you want to go. Where to? Uh, ADEX stairway, buddy boy. Mind the gate. Up a bit late, aren't you? Just like Mr. Conklin. He's a night owl, too. Just a little ways more. There you go. Let's see, two forecasts and deck, uh huh. Remember, uh, Penny saying that the cargo hold was beneath the forecast deck, so oh, here we are. Okay. Oh, hello. Sorry, passengers aren't allowed to enter the cargo hold. You'll have to go back up. They tell me first class passengers, the carters come down here. They've a motor car in the hold. I haven't seen them, but if anyone shows me those car keys, I'm told to let them pass. Okay. Quick this. There, what you got there? Right, and Daisy Cashmore said that the uh, carters leave the keys with the purser. So, see that, please. Mind the gate. Up a bit late, aren't you? You already said Just that. Like Mr. Conklin, he's a night owl too. Just a little ways more. What? I hit D deck. I didn't mean to hit D deck. Oh, hello. Wondering. I had advised you against it. Young people, they listen to no one nowadays. May I help you in your search? Um, I misplaced something. <laughs> I am looking for something also. A misplaced notebook. Ah, such a big ship. You have not seen this notebook? Uh, no, I don't know anything about a notebook. Hmm. I don't take things that aren't mine, <laughs> except I'm a spy. Yes, but staying out so late at night, you must have some curiosity. Curiosity. In English, it kills the cat, yes? But it can also kill larger things. Stay away from German business. Uh, well, 
that's a threat if I ever heard one. Um, what business is that? Germany wants land, industries, and material, and we will fight to get it. Britain and America will try to stop this, but we will know your plans. And if there's war, Germany will win. But enough politics. <laughs> this has been such a civilized voyage so far. Let us meet tomorrow in the cafe, yes? The band? They play Strauss so well. Until then. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen to you too. Um. Oh, hey Max. Hello there. You again. You'll never guess who I saw earlier. The man himself, Isidore Strauss. The owner of Macy's department store standing right over there. Haymakers is a fine shop, but Macy's... Man, that's the big store. But just as I was readying myself to make an introduction, he leaves. You've seen him? Uh, I wouldn't know it if I saw him. Yeah, I forgot. You ain't even in the business. Let me know if you see him, will you? Uh, sure. Well, I guess there was some benefit to coming down here accidentally. Hey, uh, bud, you got the keys? Yes, can I help you? Could I borrow some car keys? Oh, wait, go away, I'm too busy. Mr. Isidore Strauss, he's lost a cat. Oh, Strauss? So particular. Did Mr. Strauss drop us How should I know? There's more than enough passengers on this ship to keep me hopping. Old Mr. Strauss could make things very difficult. Yes, very difficult. Hmm. Can I find the cufflink for you? Thank you. It is a gold cufflink. Mr. Strauss will be very grateful. I'll just be your, uh, thankless gopher. Hey, bud, you were just talking about Strauss, right? Haven't seen Mr. Strauss, have you? Uh, where was he sitting? At the foot of the stairs, with his wife. Let me know if you see him, will you? At the foot of the stairs, you say? Hey bud, I've got your cufflink. Or Strauss's cufflink. Yes, can I help you? Found Mr. Strauss's cufflink. Wonderful. Mr. Strauss will be quite pleased that I found his cufflink. I shall deliver it at once. I'm just sure his gratitude oh. will be reflected most generously. Oh yeah, he's gonna reward you for you finding the cufflink. Uh um... Obvious choice is obvious. They look like car keys anyway, don't they? Hmm. That's not what I want to do. Hey, bud. Step lively. Where to? Are you gonna say something different, thing If I uh, mind the gate. Or say something different. It's a cold night, this. Pretty much everyone's early to bed. Makes me job that much easier. You're dack now. Dapple easy. Sweet. No. Not going that way again.
And hopefully this guy's got amnesia and just doesn't remember faces. Because I got your keys. Nobody's allowed to... You've got the keys. You're yep. a carter. Of course you can enter. Right this way. Come to visit your new automobile, have you? <laughs> Can't say I blame you. She's a beauty. Gleaming like a new penny. Right this way. Uh, mind your head, it's dark in there. Oh, you find your way from here. My guy. Calm down. <laughs> it's fine. For seeing after your automobile, man's got to protect his investments. You're the second passenger tonight who wanted to get in here. A young German gentleman. He came here not long before you did. Only he weren't looking at no motor car. He wanted to get a painting. Got it too. Carted it off somewhere. Blooming art lovers. Well, hmm. good night. It's a right honour to help one of the carters. Is it a Hegel list thing? And we have to break it to Penny. No, it wasn't in the crate. Blast. Someone got there before you. If only you'd been faster. That snooty steward Smethels was looking for you. Find him and kick him smartly in the shins. Here's a message for you. Does he now? Well, before I do that, I also need to meet this uh, Shayla Hacker, which she's in. <clears throat> F-59. Hmm. Can't go that way. No, that's F-32. Wait, she's a steerage girl, right? So... <clears throat> yeah, she wouldn't be here.
get there through Scotland Road, it looks like. of a scandal. I have seen a first-class passenger, a Mr. Hadelitz, among the steerage class. He's been gambling with the crew and worse. I followed him into third class, on F-deck where he visited the room of an unchaperoned young woman. Rather snoopy, aren't you? Uh... Really, you should mind your own business, Trout, but I am curious about Hadelitz, because I am a spy, so... I will speak to the authorities. Such behavior. It smacks of socialism and unrest. I'm looking forward to talking socialism. with you about the mission. God <clears throat> needs your help. I think you mean you need God's help. Uh, maybe a crack open the book you're holding, maybe uh, to the uh, New Testament where Jesus is talking to the Pharisees. Um, yes, let's talk about it later. Thank you so much. I will call on you tomorrow. Good evening. Of course, maybe I shouldn't be so hard on him, because, you know, he did lose his wife. And for the trip, so me. And, you know, his wife died on the mission field, so he might be. might be harboring anger toward God, you know. Uh, let's see. F58, 60. Ah, uh, here we are. Jack, is that you? I'll be right out. I don't want to wake the baby. Oh. That's not Jack. I need to speak with you. But we were meeting later. Where's Jack? Uh, I want to know about... I don't know where your brother is. I don't want to be completely harmless. Please, I don't want no trouble. I didn't know the letter was so dear. I just wanted to take something, anything that looked valuable. But for the baby. It was Jack who read it. Saw it was bad for Mr. Conkling. He said the bit about selling bad steel would ruin him if it was to get out in the papers. Hmm. Tell me about the steel. Anyway, Jack, he says Mr. Conkling got the letter from an engineer up at the mill. What did it say? Said the mill's been making bad steel. High and sulfur is what he called it. The steel's no good. And they put it in the Titanic. It'd be a scandal if it got out. That's why Mr. Conklin wants the letter back. But Jack, he says Conklin will have to pay us to get it. Five thousand dollars. <laughs> Mrs. Conklin's probably behind it. All she cares about is a fine name and pots of cash. And a baby. But she won't get Eddie. No, she won't. And if she tries, I'll ruin her. Make her poor as me. You're a dear little thing, aren't you? Tell me about the baby. My baby, Eddie. He's the only reason I stood them last month at the Conklings. I knew Mr. Conklin weren't gonna leave his missus. I was only a parlor maid, but I didn't care. I was happy to have his baby. Him and Mrs. Conklin, I thought they were so kind. Until I found out. Found out about what? That Mrs. Conklin. Mrs. Conklin was going to steal my baby for her own. Once I had it, she would fire me and take Eddie for herself. She can't have her own babies. So she... So they... They used me to get one, to get Eddie. When I found out that was her plan, I left. I didn't know the letter was anything. I thought it might hold a pound or two. Hmm. 
Good night. Well, that's Eddie. Bye. Don't forget about our meeting. Yep. She, uh, her, the Conklings did seem like they were bad news. to the ship's stern. They're having a rather heated conversation. See if you can listen in. I'll track their movements. Really? Ah. Huh. Excuse me, but I have not seen my friend in such a long time. There's a lot we must discuss privately. Good night. Sasha. Good night. I think you'd be more comfortable inside, don't you? Maybe. Oh, hey, Smells, is that you? Still wondering? This ship holds a strange fascination for you. Most peculiar. I have a message from a young German gentleman by the name of Haderlitz. He would like to meet you in the squash court. Hmm. They've opened it for him. Highly irregular, I must say, especially for fencing. Uh, did you say fencing? Yes, apparently <laughs> he does not favor racket sports. Hmm, the German gentleman is he alone? Surely he is. The percentage of passengers demanding the courts late on a Sunday night is small. Minuscule, actually. <laughs> How do I get to the squash court from here? If memory serves me, there is an entrance to the squash courts on D-Deck. Meanwhile, I shall inform the young German gentleman that you will meet him presently. Um... Oh, they noticed me. Don't mind me, I'm just going to be looking over here. I can't hear anything. Maybe... Just saying, Smettles, <laughs> not sure that was a good idea to tell me that right in front of Zyle, but it's not like Smettles actually We have knows. a problem, Zyle. Oh. Which is? The Rubion. It was not at your drop point. You are sure? Most definitely. But I put it there myself. What happened? There's a third party on board. An agent working against you. Against us. How do you know? My servants saw them at the drop. They now have the Rubion. This could ruin me, Zydel, if I were found out. But you should take precautions. What about the painting? Did your associate bring it up from the cargo hold? No, I don't have it. No? But I put it there myself! Sasha, I've discovered a traitor. Don't look so startled. It is not you. You mean Adelitz, your associate? No longer my associate, I am afraid. Believe us an intellectual. And intellectuals aren't smart enough for espionage. Now, I must recover the painting and its plans. I fear this third party may already have possession of it. And Hadelitz? Thank you for asking. I believe we'll bring no further harm to the Fatherland, I assure you. Let us plan. Uh, 
เออเจ้าคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเล่นไม่ค่อยเข้าใจเรื่องอะไรคุณเ
My sword looks so sharp. Oh. Ooh. Touche. Oh, never mind. Got him. Touché. Nope. Ah. Frick. Allez. No. Touche. <laughs> okay, that was. Toe to toe again. Yes! You are a great athlete. Take this in friendship. May huh. it bring you luck. A Thanks. thing I fear we shall all need. Mm -hmm. But if anything should happen to me, I trust you will know what to do. He knows he's gonna die. Or... something. Zyle sure sounded like he was gonna kill him. Uh, I would like to know more about you. You do? Remember, only one thing is certain, and the rest is lies. <laughs> it is a quote from an old book I had the recent opportunity to read. But I tell you more. I am associate professor at the University of Vienna. I document the mythos, the legends of mankind. I, I'm on my way to New Mexico to study the Uni Indians under Dr. Van der Plaas. Hmm. Tell me more. I am interested in what Dr. Freud calls the unconscious mind, what happens below the surface of experience. Tell me, what frightens you more, fire or ice? His voice sure cracks a lot. Um, fire. The ancient Aryans believed men would see four ages. According to them, this is now the Wolf Age. An age that ends with ice. After hmm. the Wolf Age ends, mankind shall experience a fire that will burn for two generations. Clearly a metaphor for a war we must hmm. all try to prevent. Yes? Fascinating. What side is interest in art? Why do you assume he is interested in paintings? I just gave something away there, bud. I said art, not paintings. <laughs> yes, yes. Art. That is what I meant. And 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 you are mistaken. Colonel Seidel cares little for art, unlike his friend Herr Barbicon. Hmm. I notice he likes old Vienna, for he has many pictures of the city. If the fire comes, my friends will favor the English over Germany. And how's the match? Hmm. Interesting. Maybe he meant to give that away. Because he seems to be saying things like hinting that we're on the same side. That we're both trying to prevent a war or something. Oh. Ah, God. Gosh. It really taxes your finger. See if I can make a perfect round or a proper perfect round. I don't, I don't. Yes! You, you fence well. Very good. You have proven yourself, and I must confide in you. Colonel Seidel mm -hmm. suspects I value my friends more than Germany. He's right. Another match? Uh, yeah, sure. 
Yeah, I overheard a conversation, Willie. Uh, he plans to do something to you. Of course, he already knows he's in danger. Oh. Ah, he's got me. Thank you. That means very good in German for those who don't know. Yeah. Uh, okay. Toe to toe. Oh. All right, last round. I think I'm also kind of wrecking my mouse a little bit. Yes. You you fans well? You are a great athlete. Thanks. But as a match. Uh, looks like he's not going to say anything more. Uh, no, I've got to go. Let us meet later. I will tell you more. For now, keep the ring. I bid you good night. Good night, Willie. I got a chance with her? Hmm. I don't know, Max. Yeah, well, if you see it, tell us she's wasting her time spooning with that crazy Kraut kid. Me, Max, the styling Spruce Street Shoppy. I'd take care of her like a princess. A regular princess. Tell her, would you? Good night. Hmm. Let's take a shortcut to, uh, Kimmy's. Say he's in danger. I'll see if I can dig something up on him. Zidal may suspect him. Hmm. The partnership appears to be dissolving. Who else knows young Hades? Talk to anyone who may have seen him. Okay. He gave me his ring. Hades has a ring. Maybe Trask can tell you more about it. I've got to continue my investigation. Finally, you're on the right trail. Follow those leads. Right you are, madam.
music in some of these places, man. It's like almost a horror game. This way. Where to? Trask is usually on A deck, so. Well. Stay here, thanks. Because I want to see. I want to check with the purse or Clara's slime house, is it? See, uh. Where, where a cabin is. Yes, can I help you? Uh, require assistance. Perhaps. As Persa, I'm in charge of the Titanic's passengers. Um, yeah, check the passenger list. Have you a name? If you do, I can tell you their cabin number. Let's see, more names, more names, more names, more names. Miss Clarice Limehouse. This is Limehouse and her daughter Clarice are in cabin D19. D19. See, I saw a hater list his name show. Sure. Have you a name? If you do, I can tell you their cabin number. More names, more names. Mr. Von Haderlitz. Mr. Von Haderlitz is in B66. B66. Hmm. Uh. Have you a name? One more time. If you do, I can tell you their cabin number. More names, more names, more names, more names, more names. Vlad Demonic. Is that really his last name? That's probably the Vlad, though. Demonic? Hmm. I don't see anyone on board by that. Perhaps you're mistaken. <laughs> Perhaps you don't know there's a stowaway. Oh, no. <laughs> Thanks for your help. I live to serve. I'm sure you do. Good night. Very good, though. <laughs> Demonic. Anyway. Where to? Hey, Dick. Mind the gate. Did you attend the party last night on day Yes, yes, I've been through Seen this already. Seen the lady already. Georgia, did you? Notice those diamonds round her neck? <whistles> a bloke will be set up with those. And her. Uh, pity she's unhappy. Her husband always arguing with her. Like just now. Almost there. I say, how are you getting on? Getting on? We use gangplanks, if I remember. Quick as a cow she is. Seen Guggenheim about. Such a gentleman, extremely attentive to the ladies. Especially his mistress. They say he stashed her on board somewhere. Really, Henry? Not Mr. Guggenheim? The Titanic's not a damned rectory, you know. But Henry? Quite the randy old goat from what I hear. My goodness, I've forgotten completely. I have a message for you. Mr. Trask in D2 said you were to meet him where honor and glory crown time. Where honor and glory crown time? What do you think he meant? Uh, good night. Good night. I'm going to worry from time, eh? Oh, hey, Trask. You've arrived. I was expecting you. I was just holding court with these two ladies. Is that right? Honor and glory. Crowning time. Got it. They say a hundred wood carvers worked on the Titanic. Such effort. Now in such danger. You sense danger? Yes, for the ship. And for a mutual acquaintance. What's wrong? I visited with a very nice woman in second class, a Mrs. Hart. Won't sleep a wink at night, she says, because something dreadful is about to happen. She believes to call this ship unsinkable flies in the face of God. And such arrogance will be punished. Hmm. Hmm. 
She should join the bureau. I'd like to do a reading or something. The rain. I see your friend. We leave on Hater Dance. Yes. He is in very great danger. The ring. Yes, did did you notice the Russian characters on the inside band? Willy has a hidden life. There's a girl, a pretty girl. Haderlitz knows her. Show her the ring. She'll help you. Good luck. Hmm. Good night. Good night. Hmm. Well, I guess it's time to visit this Miss uh, Limehouse. Dedek. Mind the gate. You and that German foe walking the ship at all hours. I don't know your excuse, but he's got a sweetheart on D-Deck. She now uses friend and all. I bet you'd like to know where she stays. It's cabin 19, D-Deck. Here you are. It's as far as I go. You almost sounded mad there, bub. Oh wait, wrong way. <laughs> something oh well, they weren't lying you are pretty uh, do you recognize this ring it's Willie's ring Willie what's happened something bad hasn't it something to Willie he told me if I ever received this ring I was to know that whoever gave it to me was a friend and to tell them about the notebook that they should find it the notebook one Zytle mentioned? What kind of notebook? Willie's hidden a notebook on board, that's all I know. Now what about Willie? Is he hurt? He may be in danger, just tell him the truth. Oh. He told me jokes. Bad ones, but he made me laugh. Not like Mama's friends. Mama, she doesn't like Germans, unless hmm. they've a title to their name. But I like Willie. A lot. May I have it? The ring? Better keep it. I need to find out what's happened first. I haven't got the heart. Yes, here it is. Thank oh. you. I'll never forget this. Willie's in trouble. Please help him if you can. times like these you know why the why the music is the way it is is that Max? Whoa! Some English tomato was looking for you said her name was Pringle said it was important Really? Okay. Well, thanks. Well, I guess we'll leave it there. Gosh. What a mess with Conkling and his world, and Georgia and her world, and... Um, Haderlitz and his world. Just all these different people and all these different stories muddled together. It's like a it's like a Dickens novel. We also get into that couple again, which makes me want to go see if the photographer has anything new. It's you. I just developed some new photos. Wait till you see this. Eric, who's at the door? 
There they are, the steel tycoon Conkling with Lord Lambeth discussing business. Hmm. Eric! I've got to go. Goodbye. All right. find it the height of drudgery to track you about this ship. I'm sorry, Smells. What is it? Your constant meanderings make it difficult for me to attend my... Pringle insists that you see her immediately in her cabin. You are thicker than thieves. And Larson is probably what you're up to. <clears throat> Do go see Miss Pringle. I'm sorry, I didn't, I couldn't quite make out what you just said. Fine, I'll go. I'll go see Penny. I'll, I'll have to go listen to what he was saying uh, while editing. Because I don't know what he said. He's like muttering something. is dead. Electrocuted in the Turkish bath. I heard one of the officers talking about it. This may not have been an accident. Mm. Apparently someone wants that painting badly enough to kill for it. Do you have it? The painting's missing from the cargo hold. Thought we'd been over this. Not doing so well, are you? Someone must have taken the painting before you got there. Logically, anyway. Um, he was, was working for the Russians. Let's see. Young Hadelitz, a czarist spy? It's beginning to become clear. Hadelitz had a notebook he took from Zytel. A notebook? Zeitl's previous mission was aiding a band of Russian revolutionaries called Bolsheviks who want to overthrow the Tsar. Mm -hmm. The Germans would like nothing better than to see chaos in Russia. I'll bet that notebook's got names of Russian radicals. Such a list would be very important to the Okrana, the Russian secret police. With it, they'd root out the Bolshevik ringleaders and eliminate a threat to the Tsar, which would certainly help the rest of us. Did Zyle kill Haterless? Quite possibly. We need more information about the murder. What do I need now? If Haderlitz was murdered, you'll need protection. Here, this pen releases a single burst of knockout gas when opened. Find that notebook. It could be vitally important. Go investigate the situation at the Turkish bath. Move. Thing? Tell me. 
I know Hater Liz is dead. You knew him? Look. Don't breathe a word to anyone. What will you do? May I investigate? This was just a simple accident. Isme is going to raise hell what he hears. And I thought this would be an easy trip. Did anyone see anything? Talk to Smethos, his steward. Say the man came down here after using the squash courts. It's the wireless available. Why is that an option? Yes, yes. But be careful what you send. We don't need any scandals. Hmm. Mind if I look around? Be my guest. Mind you, it's not pretty. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hey, Smells. <laughs> I was just talking to you earlier. Most regrettable. Most regrettable indeed. The young German gentleman, dead. In the electric bath. Quite unanticipated. He was alive. Most vocally, too. Just a few hours before, arguing with someone on B-deck. Who was the other person? The gentleman's voice was unfamiliar. What was the argument about? About a painting. He'd misplaced it. Hmm. And the other gentleman wanted to know where it was. Right, because Zydel doesn't have a painting. So who else has the painting? Is Hayerlitz still in the electric bath? Yes, I believe Dr. Lochman is waiting to move him so as not to alarm the other passengers. It is, I must warn you, a most unpleasant sight. Thank you, Smithles. Very good. This is most irregular. Most irregular indeed. I realize this isn't exactly the time to be looking at this stuff. Curious about. Oh, Mac is gone. Attendant. I know who you are. And you'll not find one better at taking you where you want to go. Where to? Hey, Dick, please. Find the gate. Up a bit late, aren't you? Yep. Just like Mr. Conklin. Yep. He's a night owl, too. Yep. Just a little ways more. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hey, Trask. Can you feel it? The air has changed. It's clammy, cold, like the ice caves in the Eiger. But you're not here about climatology. What do you want? Hmm. Why do you think the ship's in danger? The Titanic was never christened. Very bad luck for a ship. Hmm. They say that when building her, a worker was entombed in the hull. And though we've 2,000 on board, the Titanic is only half full. The world's wealthiest man, Henry Clay Frick, J.P. Morgan, the Vanderbilts, canceled the trip. Hmm. They know when to listen to their gut. The vibrations of the astral plane are quite strong. Whatever happens will be quite interesting. Guess that's one way of putting it. Can you tell me more about Willy von Hederlitz? I don't think his death was an accident. He has double-crossed the colonel. That may help you. Hmm. Reading of something. Certainly. Hmm. A passage from the Rubiot. Many knots unravel could mean a rope. Complete the rest of the verse and you'll find your answer. Good luck. Thanks. Good night. Goodbye. I'll be here if you need me. Hmm. Well, while I'm here, See if I can uh, yeah. see if I can convince Sasha to give me the necklace. Good of you to call, but it's late. Good night. Okay. Hey, bub. Hello. Just the end of the electric. The fuse box there. She said you we've had no time to check her where in. Adex been complaining about the lights all night. We'll get her straightened right out. That is if I can find my screwdriver. Wait till I forgot it below. Ta now. Be right back. A fourteen. Hey, Sasha. I say, have you seen the steward? The lights have gone out in my cabin. Uh, try down the hall. Damnedest thing. Excuse me, I'm going to get some help. Well, don't mind me, I'm just gonna make us turn on the lights. <laughs> uh, uh, very nice. That looks sort of like my castle. Well, not really, just some cubist. Sleeping at all, bud? Oh! Is that Georgia? <laughs> okay. So, add these up, is it? Is that how it works? Two. No, that's, that 
adds up to 16. That's one, so... Uh, the music is changing. That's, that's going to be annoying. 5, 3, 2, 5. Okay, that's 15. Oh, well, what do you know? <laughs> nice. So... The reason I'm trying to get the necklace is, ooh, there it is, because I promised I'd help Georgia, and the necklace, the necklace is her chance for a new life without Charles, and of course Charles sees the necklace as a new life without Georgia. To choose between the two, and I promise to help Georgia. So, yeah. Okay. Let's hope Sasha is, doesn't come back. Oh. What are you doing in my cabin? You must leave immediately. Okay, I'm leaving. Don't worry about that. You have stolen from me. Now I must take what is mine. Oh. Okay, well, we'll be right back. And we're back. Um... So... Authentic necklace. Georgia's necklace. Wait, is there a visual difference? Oh yeah, definitely. Let's see, this one is a... Wait. So... He knows it's missing if we leave. It, but what if... Let's see... This is it, right? Pretty sure. Yep. This in, and no one's the wiser. What are you doing in my cabin? Nothing. You must leave immediately. You need to tend to your own affairs. Fortunately, you've left my valuables undisturbed. <laughs> That's what you think. <clears throat> Sweet. Well, we got that right. It's probably what Trask meant when he was like, These will surprise you, mark my words, because they were fake. What will he say about the real oh, necklace? Now. Another clue. Reading or something. The Lambeth necklace huh. will come in handy before the night is over. Will it now? Goodbye. I'll be here if you need me. Thanks, bud. Huh. Going out here because of the wireless. Oh, hey, bud. You can't go no further. Officer Moro's in no mood to accommodate passengers right now. He's misplaced his binoculars, and he's in a right proper state about it, too. Good night. I 
don't remember if you said if you've told me that already or not. I realize I haven't really been up on these higher decks. Hello. Ooh. This is the compass. Ooh, I can click. Ooh. East, south, west, north. has moved his mighty hand against the wicked. Gambling, lewdness, and a mixing of the classes are repaid with fire. You have heard the news? Dung Hadelitz has gone to meet his maker. Or someone else, eh? We can only speculate, can't we? Gambling and lewdness, maybe, but mixing of the classes, I'm pretty sure, is not actually a sin. I'm just gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. He's in, he's mad at God. I don't know. Uh, bro, you really needed to read the New Testament because I don't think you have. In contemplation, are we? Maybe I can help. Uh, tell me more. Just because I'm a spy. They say the electric bath has never malfunctioned before. Believe me, it wasn't the voltage, but the cleansing work of the Lord. I'm looking forward to talking with you about the mission. God needs your help. Well, like I said before, I think you mean you need God's help, because... God does not... If you, uh, I believe it's in Ezekiel, God does not rejoice in the death of the wicked. And, uh, Haterless isn't what I would call a wicked man. Thank you so much. I will call on you tomorrow. Good evening. Yeah. Officer Morrow isn't here. Maybe I should turn it on first. Let's see. To passenger titanium. Tennis, considering that Hairless was, we were fencing with Hairless in the squash court, which squash, I believe, is just basically indoor tennis. Except it's a different ball, it's like a ball made of rubber. Tennis tournament postponed. Details on oh, arrival. That, that has to be deliberate. They decided to bring up tennis because of the. the Fencing in the squash court. And Haterless is dead in the squash court. Yeah, that had to be him. <laughs> or has been in. Did we already get him that from? Did get a message from this Mesa or whatever? 
I, I don't remember, honestly. Just some of these, some of these messages are so similar, it's hard to tell. To passenger Titanic C D Williams can. Can what? Can. What does that mean? See any new incoming? No. No. Any new outgoing? Another one from Zyle. Yes, please. Let's turn that thing off. Excuse me, I need to take a break for a second. I'll be right back. Still not here. No. Oh. oh yeah. Suspect a traitor will take action. Oh. 
Oh, rope. <clears throat> Christ almighty wonder. You have a face ache, ain't you? Room of the ship, hooking your nose into everyone's business? I'm, I'm just a, I'm just a spy, dude. Will you help me? Just who do you take me for now? One of those la -da millionaires up top? Jack Hacker keeps his word, honors his promises. When I saw you come in, I says to myself, they'll be wanting to know about him. The foreign gentleman, German I suspect. A remedy nervous type he was too. Peerless. He gave me a bob and told me to tell whoever asked to repeat a phrase word for word. You want to hear it now? Please. But still the vine her ancient ruby yields, and still a garden by the water blows. Yeah, that's it. Here, he wrote it down. Uh, can you repeat the phrase? But still the vine her ancient ruby yields, and still a garden by the water blows. Hmm. Thank you and goodbye. What's it mean anyway? Some rich man's game you play. You can have it. Just tell Conklin we want the money tonight. All right, Jack. Uh, got anything else to say? Maybe I shouldn't bother you. Old Jack, he's got his shift to worry about. Cheers. Shift. Just phase through the door, eh? attendant I know and you'll not find one better at taking you where you want to go where to hey deck please mind the gate did you attend the party last night on day deck seen the lady Georgia did you notice those diamonds around her neck a bloke could be set up with those and her pity she's <laughs> unhappy her husband always arguing with her like just now hmm. almost there Hey, bud. What now? Another clue? Um, yeah. Let's see. Scrap of paper. Aha, uh -huh, the Rubiot again. Is it now? But still, the vine her ancient ruby yields. Hmm, what's red and old? Red and Still old. a garden by the water blows. Still a garden by the water blows. We're, we're on the water, obviously. And a garden means plants. Where's there a profusion <laughs> of greenery on board? Figure it out. Hmm. Good night. Goodbye. I'll be here if you need me. Thanks. Seems to be some greenery around here. But I guess that's not on the top. Hmm. Oh, hey Daisy. You who? Did you hear? JP Morgan, he owns the White Star Line. He was to be on board. At the last moment he took the cure in France instead. Why do you suppose? Has the ship sprung a leak? <laughs> I'll scare myself to death. Everyone knows the Titanic's unsinkable. Why, it's the Harrises. You know, the Broadway producer. My dear, I simply must run. Lovely chatting with you. Goodbye. Well, at least I didn't feel as pointless as the last time. <laughs> oh, well. Hmm. The uh, elevator chap I mentioned something about Georgia. Hmm. 
Cafe Parisian, perhaps? Oh, there's a lot of greenery. Nobody to be had. Uh, same place I found the pipe. Oh, hello. Old reds. Red and old. Ancient ruby. There we go. Hmm. Curious. I know. Yeah, stairs are for losers. <laughs> Step lively. Where to? Hey, Deck. Find the gate. Up a bit late, late aren't, aren't you? you? Just like Mr. Mr. Conklin. He's, He's a night owl, too. Just a little ways more. Oh, fancy me Hello. you again. Snooping about the decks again? What fun. Oh, Henry, snooping. Really? Such dreadful taste. Reminds me of that chap Burns. That photographer who took pictures of the ship. You should look him up. He's on sea deck. He has such a lovely wife, too. I say it's late. Must run. Goodbye. It's probably a hint for me to, uh... Go, uh... I see him again. What now? Another clue? You could say that. No thanks, I don't smoke. Oh, you want to read him? <laughs> well, very well. Hmm. Hmm. They belong to Mr. Seidelman. I'm sorry, I'm getting no reading at all. Not even faintly. Settlement, you say? Let's see. A uh, gas pin? A gas pin, how clever. Don't point it at me. Let's see. Have I asked him about binoculars? I'm not sure. Perhaps an officer should see these. Okay. Good night. Goodbye. I'll be here if you need me. Hmm. Um. Sorry, my mind went blank. See. Max. Right then. Where to? Max is often in, in D deck. Mind the gate. Check that first. Up a bit late, aren't you? <laughs> Just like Mr. Conklin. He's a night owl too. Just a little ways more. Nope. Here. Way. Where to? Actually, Suit yourself. I'll, right. Right. I'll stay here because I want to go um, check on the photographer again. I've got even more photos. Do you know? Look at Eric. Who's at the door? Stephanie. She's still sore. I want to get her a gift, you know, but it's too late. Eric! Uh -huh. Got anything Stephanie'd like? Uh, I'll, I'll trade you. These photos for something for Steffi. The necklace? Uh, would she like this prayer card? What a nice thought for a new bride, thanks. <laughs> Here, take my picture. It's a man, peering out from the last smokestack. Huh. Eric, come to bed. Coming, pumpkin. Good night. Wow. The other... Is that somebody over there? 
Then we saw somebody over there. And on the other place, uh, Max is generally is the smoking. Oh, hey, Charles. Anything else to say? Please leave me. Okay, gosh. Hey, bud. Hey, look at the cards. Enjoying your evening? With Riviera on board? Get real, Pally. Watch him. Or he'll pick your wallet, too. Oh, uh, wait, I want to give you your old reds. Is this your pack of old reds? Don't mind if I do. Smoke them if you got them, I always say. Gave a pack of these to the German kid early tonight. He's an odd one. While we was docked in Queenstown, I saw him on top of one of the smokestacks. The last one, right at the top. Who knows what he was up to? Looked like he was hiding something. Crazy crowd kid. And he's gone. Hiding either the painting or the notebook, I suspect. So that was Haterlitz, the photographer, or Burns, was, uh, took a picture, taking a picture of, well, I'm here. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm staying. Woohoo! You are the winner. Yes, I am. Magnifique. Thank you. Again? No. Oh, wait, no, that is not what I've been depressed. Uh, oh, well. Hit me. Thirteen... or fourteen, excuse me. Uh, Sixteen... Seventeen... Me. Ah. Stay. Woohoo! You win. Thank you. Again? Yep. No. Good night. Thank you. And good night. Generic people. Just past everybody. Just look at me go. Oh, hey, bud. Passengers aren't allowed on the bridge. Officer Moro's in no mood to accommodate passengers right now. He's misplaced his binoculars, and he's in a right proper state about it, too. Off with you now. Alright, alright. Oh, is that somebody over there? Oh, hey, bud. Oh, surprise me, you did. It's a lonely post here. Cold adds to it. Hmm. Uh, why are you out tonight? Night watch. I'm here for a couple more hours. Hmm. Oh, surprise me, you did. It's a lonely post here. You just talked to me. Adds to it. Can I climb the smokestack here? And break your neck? The entrance is below decks. Only the lads in the engine room can get to it. <laughs> climb the smokestack. We're sipping a little too much brandy tonight, aren't we? Uh, well... Not really. Is Officer Mara out here? Yep, there he is. Hey, bud. Oh. Oh. I thought he was walking towards me. Yes. What now? Uh, this area's off limits. No passengers allowed. Uh, everything quiet out here? Quiet. What about looking for ice? A good idea. We've received reports about blast. My binoculars. Where the devil did I put them? I've misplaced them. Damn. I'm sorry. <laughs> would you uh, Would you like your binoculars? Ah, my binoculars. Thank you. Borrowed them from Fleet earlier tonight. 
He's up in the crow's nest. Hope he has another pair with him. <laughs> I guess I left them somewhere. Thanks again. Uh, may I visit the bridge? Well, I suppose it's all right. Just don't touch. Okay. Uh, good night. Good night. Ooh, what fun. Except, why does it have to have this music? Spoken Z to H, what? <laughs> Something boarded. How are you supposed to understand what he's saying? Don't worry, Officer Morrow, I got this. I'm gonna make sure we don't run into any icebergs. I'm gonna save it, I'm gonna save the day. Don't mind me. I'm gonna, oh, hello. <coughs> I think you've seen enough. And... Seaman, check course. Now I remember why passengers aren't allowed on the bridge. Well, at least I was able to refresh your memory. Excuse me. <laughs> I said this is the officer's promenade. Sorry. Didn't you hear me? No passengers. That means you. I'm sorry. All still quiet? Too quiet. What about looking for ice? Instead of gabbing with passengers? Is everything all right? We'll be in the ice soon, and we're still full ahead. It's reckless. With no moon, the watch can't see icebergs. And with no breeze, you can't see the ripples at the berg's base. How fast are we going? What did the latest reports say? Shouldn't you warn the captain? He retired for the evening. Murdoch's in charge now. Hmm. Isn't the Titanic unsinkable? Puffery to sell newspapers. The hmm. Titanic's a ship, and ships can sink. But there's no ticket sold in pointing that out, is there? Good you point. know how the company makes its money? On rich Americans and the steerage trade, that's how. Hmm. That fourth funnel, uh, the one nearest the stern, it's fake. And you know why it's there? To assure the immigrant Irish and piss-poor Swedes the ship's safer for having four funnels instead of three. Hmm. Marketer's trick. They must know what they're doing. I hope so. Keep sharp eye on the horizon. I am. And thanks for finding my binoculars. You're welcome. Good night, Marl. Good night. Hmm. Is there anything different? Mm, doesn't look like it. Here out here. Does that mean I can uh, yeet down here? I'm going the wrong way, blast it. If he's out there, then maybe I can just pass through the car pulled into the boiler rooms, into the engine room. 
Brilliant. Oh, hi. What's this? No passengers in the boiler or engine room. Keep at. Well, can I just zoom past you? Oh. What's this? No passengers in the boiler yeah, or engine room. Mine. Keep at. Fine. Gummit. Vroom vroom. And he's still out there. So, well, he can't be in two places at once. <laughs> oh, yeah. Notebook is Penny. Well done. Thanks. Listen, I've discovered the only way into the smokestack. Really? Me too. Through the engine room. Find that notebook. Helping the Tsar will help us too. Well, let's do it then. Hey, bud. Oh, she's still running rough. You are so clever last time, you cared to have a go again. Yeah, my pleasure. I can fix it. Uh, you, you should fix your own engine. <laughs> I just want to see what happens. No, is it? Then you can't pass. Uh-uh. Not while I got my engine troubles. All right, all right, fine. Oh, she's still running rough. I heard you the first time. You are so clever last time, you cared to have a go again. Uh, need some advice? Here, take a look at the instruction manual. You hmm. might have better luck than me. Hmm. The turbine is not working correctly. Excessive knocking and steam discharge can occur. There's supposed to be a comma there. Make, him <laughs> make the following adjustments. Increase steam flow by turning the red circular valves counterclockwise as far as they can go. Okay, that makes sense. Adjust the seawater pump level lever halfway to three quarters. Open to minimize condenser pressure. Okay, that makes sense. Maximize heat by setting the main boiler control lever to three quarters. Makes sense. Carefully close the steam valves while watching the turbine power output until needle moves into the green zone. Other problems with the turbine should be brought to the attention of your authorized, okay? Right. There's a gauge showing the turbine's power output. The needle's got to move into the green zone. Okay. So all of these counterclockwise. So it just gives you a cheat sheet, eh? So halfway to three quarters. So I could probably just yeah. Oh look. It's all the way green, pretty much. Cheers, mate. Thanks, bud. Right, and that area I was in earlier, that was probably up to the snuff stack. So, uh, is that glad? It is. You have interfered in my affairs for the last time. Uh, you are the one who stole the ruby. 
Yeah, that's me. Die at the hands of Serbia. Wait, can I kick you too? Yep, I can. I think that notebook is for me. Please. <laughs> Colonel Zaito? I know exactly who you are. The agents have our secrets, yes? You want the notebook? Thank you for finding it. The village would have appreciated your effort. Cold, isn't it? I've maintained climate is the crucible of civilization. Culture blooms in the temperate. It is the tropic and arctic zones which breed barbarism. Russia, <laughs> for instance. Squilly was working for the Russians. In that notebook are names of anti-Tsarist Russians, revolutionaries living in exile. Germany supports these men. <laughs> they are called communists. We provide assistance, small courtesies and, uh, wherever possible, financial encouragement. One of these men is moving to Krakow soon. Charming city, Krakow. We urge Vili to befriend such types in Vienna. He kept a list of such men for us, or so I thought. He was a Russian agent who was going to turn those names over to the Okrana, the Russian secret service. Hmm. And if the Russian police got their names? They would kill them. Secretly, of course, but kill them just the same. Think. With the revolutionaries all dead, the Tsar would be secure on his throne. That should not be allowed. Not when there are wars to be planned for. Now then, the notebook. 
Oh, there's me. So chilling. I mean, literally, I just got the chills. into an iceberg, the idiots! I will be taking that notebook now. Uh, maybe we can make a deal? How generous. But the answer is no, I am afraid. Here, take the notebook. I have something for you. Well, I saved before this. Um, he's probably just gonna shoot me, so I'll see what will happen. Speak up. Uh, I'm deciding, okay? Um, I think I'll, you know, just, you know, see what happens, because he's probably just gonna shoot me and I'll be dead, and then I'll just open the save file again. Thank you. These names won't be disembarking in New York. Neither, I am afraid, are you. Yep, there we go. Wait, what? I'm alive? Uh -oh. Yes? It was a poor shot, that. You'll live. But for how long is the question? We've struck an iceberg. The incompetence, the idiots. That was an hour ago. The captain's called women and children to the boats. It's serious. She's sinking by the bow. She's hmm. got about an hour left, maybe a little more. The Rubaiyat. And a fine time I had getting it back from the purser. It's hmm. safer with you now. And safer with me? You have to find it. I just you got shot. Get those plans. And make sure that necklace doesn't end up in the wrong hands. How do you know about the necklace? Must have hidden the notebook. Perhaps it's in his room. Cabin C, 59. The notebook hmm. lists the names of Russian radicals. The Germans actively encourage Lenin and other revolutionaries. Really? You must recover that notebook. This information is vitally important to our Russian allies. I know you're hurt, but the Titanic's sinking. It's not going to be easy. The lifts have been shut down for good. We must get the evidence off the ship before it goes. So, up we go. Now get cracking. Yeah. Sounds kind of like sea deck, except menacing. Well, this could be interesting, so we'll go ahead and save a different file. Uh, we need the notebook and the painting. Penny told us to go in Zydel's cabin for the notebook. Oh. You had wanted this? Not quick, are you? American racer. Stay on board and not admit the Russians. A pity about the Titanic. She's going to sink, you know. I have it from Andrews, the builder. Poor fellow is in a state of shock. He is giving her about another hour at best. Make yourself comfortable. The bomb on the sofa will take care of everything else. What remains will go down with the ship. <coughs> with, it appears, most of our fellow passengers. I will leave the notebook with you. A little bedside reading. Now, please excuse me. You'll be stopped. <laughs> you think so? Excuse me, will you? I have an appointment to keep. Goodbye. Appointment with whom? The devil, perhaps? Uh, see about this bomb you were talking about. Right. Bomb. 
Um, <clears throat> can I just take the key and leave? Apparently not. Um, poles. Opening box lid completes electrical connection between the two poles. Oh, uh, I see. Okay. The. Uh, right, the blue. Blue wire leads to the dynamite. Right. Right. And then the left switch. Switch powers the clock gate. Clock gate. Dynamite. Oxalate gate. Middle switch. The switch powers the solenoid gate. It's dynamite or clock. So the yellow wire powers the clock. Switch power solenoid, dynamite or latch. Okay. Did I read this one already? The latch closes when the suitcase is closed. Okay. Try again. Okay, so this. This is inert right now. If I understand what that word means. <clears throat> right, so three powers the hammer, which when the clock goes off, it's gonna hit the bell, which leads to the dynamite. So this can't be powered. So can I just let the clock run? this back then. Now I can open this, take the key. Uh, wait. Okay, so that's on that. Not blue. And that's not powered. Yes! Alright, you ain't got nothing on me, Zydal. <clears throat> oh, hey, Trout. You've not found a boat? Nope. It seems I shall not see Sunapi either. This is a test of faith, like the blood fluke infestations at the mission. Unspeakable things. The worms fell even the fittest. We prayed then too. After Mazan and the shadows fled into the bush. Though Emily did not escape God's plan. Tonight is another test. We shall brave the deluge like Noah and his family. Does anyone know how long the Great Flood raged? Do you know? Uh, well, the Flood was around for 150 days, but... I mean, if you're saying raged, maybe while it was raining, so 40 days? Exactly. You are blessed with fortune. Comfort Miss Limehouse. She is in the first class lounge. Ah, yeah. That's right. Oh, hey, Stephanie. Where's Zarek? Hey, Maro. See what I said about moonless nights? I'm preparing 
these portside lifeboats for launch. Uh, is there room on the lifeboat? It's women and children first. There are still boats. Be patient. <coughs> there are boats left. Come along, ladies. Hurry now. What can I do to help? Help the passengers. The last thing we need to write. Can't you help me? Yes, keep them calm. I'll see what I can do. Okay. I am leaving. Remain calm. Loading will begin in a few minutes. Women and children first, please. Ladies, step forward. Your husbands will come later. That's it. Step up. Ugh, what a mess. I oh. say old bean. Hey there. Absolute madhouse, don't you think? People running hither and thither, no organization, no plan of attack. Henry doesn't think the situation calls for panic. Lunatics! All of them! Running about like rabbits with a stoat at the hole. The lapse in social order is absolutely shocking. Boats! Ha! Huh. If I were captain... Such people, they're not dressed for the first cabin. Like those two immigrants on the second class stairwell. Really, something should be done. The woman's quite upset. And the man with her was carrying a painting. Of all things, a painting. What is the world coming to? Sodding foreigners? I can't possibly get in these boats. I agree. Packing the women off in such crowded quarters. Frightfully cramped. Like tinned mullet. The Titanic <laughs> is perfectly safe, isn't it? I say, I'm in need of a gin. Not <laughs> now, Henry, not now. The officer there, he wants me in the boat. They say the smoking room is still open. Goodness, I do believe I hear running water. Perhaps we can play a few hands with that Frenchman. Henry, I do think we should stay here with the boats. Blast it all, Ribena. Pitch yourself in. Jeez. I say, old bean, coming with. Uh, <laughs> now I must finish something. Suit yourself then. <clears throat> Video. Besides, you two need to get your priorities straight. Uh. Well, we know where the painting is. Stand back, ladies and gentlemen. Maintain order. Women and children board first. Prepare to swing out. Lifeboat away, sir. Yes. Now I can go in here finally. Because it's a. If you've come to get me to leave, I'm not going. I'm not leaving Willie. I want to stay near him on the ship. Willie's well, dead. We met here in the lounge the first night out. He introduced himself. Willie was so kind. Not like Mama's friends, they just want our money. I'm staying with him. The ship is sinking. We went for a walk that night on deck. There were so many stars. I'm actually I getting emotional him. right now. I told him you can't see the <coughs> stars in New York. The lights burn too bright. I told him to go to Central Park. I was going to take him to the park to show him the stars. Here. Take this shawl. I don't need it. If you get to New York, visit the park. That's where you see stars. That's where I wanted to take Willie. Goodbye. He thinks she's gone a bit insane from being grief-stricken. Grief hey, Trous. Hey, Trask. We materialize. We're in a bit of a spot, don't you think? You could say that. Uh, aren't you trying to find a boat? Me? My lord, no, I'm too old and too fat for small boats. <laughs> Bless your heart, Trask. Besides, after spending my corporeal career communing with the beyond, I'm not too worried about joining it now. Visit Mr. Riviera. He's playing for some very high stakes. Uh, I don't know what could possibly be worth it, uh, but where is he? You'll find him where he's always been, in the smoking room. Hurry. The Titanic won't last much longer. You knew about the Titanic, didn't you? But what's still unknown is what you will do. Don't you see? You've changed the past. You've... You've had that chance. 
that. What you do now will change the future. Don't fail. Goodbye, Trask. I suggest a hand of cards with Mr. Riviera. Hurry. Goodbye now. It was a pleasure to make your acquaintance in this world. Perhaps we'll meet again in the next. I uh, kind of doubt it, but yeah, hope so. Hey, you! Oh. You are proving surprisingly hardy, so perhaps you'll honor one more request. The evening's last, it would seem. <laughs> Why should I? That's a good question. I'm not making any deals with you. Oh, but you must. You could save a life. Whose life? The Lady Georgia's, of course. I've poisoned her. I don't believe you. If you decide against helping me, she will die. But if you cooperate, the antidote for her. By there goes Mr. Ismay. He's abandoning ship. Not just the women and children. The president of the line gets a seat too. So, will you help? Well, I did promise I'd help her. Can't risk him lying. Good. Listen closely. The painting. The Von Vili hid from me. Find it. I wait here. Bring me the painting. You shall get the antidote. Where is the painting? I mean, I know where it is, but... Billy was always expounding his ideas. Sadly, he neglected to share his last bomb. Look for it. <laughs> the traditional way. Look. What if I refuse? If you refuse, the <coughs> Lady Georgia will die. Are we clear? Good. I despise miscommunication. Find the painting. Zyle, you son of a bitch. Uh, oh. Wait, is that someone? Oh, hey, Conkling. Yes, you. I'm just coming from a talk with Andrews. The situation's serious. Very serious. Uh, what did Andrews say? There's only minutes left before the ship sinks, and there aren't enough boats, even for the women and children. I need to get on a boat. I'm an important man. There are factories, investments. I must get on a boat. You want to know about the letter? Letter? Forget the letter. Don't you see? We're going to die, all of us, if we don't find a boat. I'm going to talk to the captain. He'll let me on. I'll tell him. He'll order them to. It's not a good idea. Wait, Charles, is that you? What are you doing? Yeah, exactly. What are you doing? Going to the devil full of gin. Where's Georgia? Zyle said something about her being poisoned Georgia. or something. On deck, I suppose, with the women and children. Well, Sasha, she wouldn't stay with me. Not much point to me now, is there? Maybe there never was. Won't be much longer now, will it? She's sinking quickly. Doesn't have to be this way, Charles. <sighs> Cheers, Bye. and uh, good luck to you. Thanks, bud. Alright, Riviera, what you got? Uh, I'm gonna save first, though. Besides, it'll give me a time to clear my head a bit. Figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. Well, mon ami. Sit if you like. Talk to me. The Titanic is dying, but the games are still being played. Even here. Is that why you have come? For a game? To while away the time? Mm, yeah, what are your stakes? My stakes? Why, mon ami, we play for souls. <laughs> At least a substitute there are. We must play for something real. 
Something a man would die for. Regardez. A carte d'entrée. A pass to the lifeboats. With this, you have life. <laughs> Looks familiar, eh? If you win, it is yours. Yeah, that was the thing at the beginning. What do you wish to put down in return? Uh, this real diamond necklace. Uh, yeah, yeah, this, this diamond necklace. These diamonds, they're so real, let me tell you. Um, let's see. Yeah, jewelry. Such diamonds. Quite valuable. Almost as beautiful as the Lady Georgia. Bien. Hmm. If you win, you receive the boat pass. If I win, I get the necklace. Let's begin. What? Are you kidding Black me? Jack. The diamonds, they are mine now. We. Oui. But do not be so sad. Another game, mon ami? And the ruby eye uh, uh, this time. A book? <laughs> it is a book of value, yes? If you win, you can see the boat pass. If I win, I get the book. True. Give you something else to do while you're just sitting here in this room. Just uh, read a book. Um, hit me. That's not good. Um, stay. Ooh, draw. A draw. We are both losers. Take the book. I shall take back the pass. Fifteen. Hit me again. Ah. Bestseller tonight. Blackjack. Uh, hit me. <laughs> hit me. Stay. What? We are both losers. Take the book. I shall take back the pass. Okay, I'm staying. Definitely staying. Yes! Finally! You have won. Here. Deliverance. Of a kind. One more? Ah, uh, no. I think I've had my fill. Well, maybe I see you again before you die. Adieu. Adieu, Rivera. It was nice knowing you. Okay, I need to. I need to think. Um. The painting. That's that's where I'm headed next. Second class stairwell. Wait, no, no. Shoot. Oh, hey, Penny. Things are a little stressful right now. This deck's closed. No one can go up from this point. There aren't the boats for the steerage passengers. They must stay below. 
If you go down there, wow. I can't guarantee you'll come back. It's dangerous down there. I'll take my chances. Good luck. If I'm still here when you return, I'll let you back up. Don't push. Keep your hands well inside the boat. Let's hope those boilers were hot. <clears throat> yes. Oh. It's you two. That bastard Conklin and his wife. As bad as he is. Mrs. Conklin. She's stolen my baby. I, I let her hold the baby so I could get my hands free. I let her and she took him. She told the steward that he was hers. He wouldn't let me follow her up. She's leaving with my baby. Easy, Shay. The stewards, they won't let us back up the first class. It don't take brains to see what's gonna happen to this ship. Now you listen. That German gave me this painting. He's never come back for it. Get the baby and it's yours. Take the letter, find her. See if she'll trade the baby for it. Please, you're our only hope. You don't, and I'll chuck this painting into the sea. Get moving. All right. I didn't think I'd see you again. Now get up on the boat deck. The steerage passengers are still below. They're waiting for the word to go to the boats. Now get up on the boat deck. Heard you the first time. Uh, let's see. Just wondering, because I can examine this, right? Fast. Since emergency, did I write you neither the board nor the London office? Now that I what I revealed to you, poor poor quality now being used. My analysis high sulfur continent fracture. Okay, though such a circumstance, I cannot believe that the chairman of Conklin Steel would authorize use of such inferior metal. Now that such evidence has been brought up to your attention, the use of such inferior steel is reckless. I know you'd not put the lives of thousands at risk for the sake of the firm's solvency. I weigh your instructions. Heh, <laughs> the letter, that's all it's called. Hey, you! you Give me the child. He's mine now. No one will know. He'll have a good life with me instead of that penniless girl. Leave! I'm getting on that boat. I have the letter and I'll publish it. The letter? You have it? It can ruin us. Ruin me. I yes, it can. The letter for the child. Hurry! The letter for the child. Gimme, give gimme. Give Here. Take it. Take it. The letter. Yes, let me have it. What a fool! <laughs> you don't have a seat in the boat. Nice lady. Hey, Penny. Glory be a baby. Time's growing short. Yeah. Try to get the evidence and save yourself. That sailor's threatened to throw me on the next boat. But I can hold my own a little longer. Uh, Penny, perhaps you should take the evidence I have so far. Yes, if it comes to that, but there must be some way to get off this ship. I need to find a lifeboat. Try to complete your mission. We have a few more minutes. All right, I got a little baby Eddie. I'm coming down with baby Eddie. Cute. My orders are to allow nobody above this deck. Orders to be maintained. Last thing we need is a riot. If you go down there, I can't guarantee you'll come back. It's dangerous down there. Stand aside. Quickly now. If I'm still here when you return, I'll let you back up. Thanks, bud. Hey guys. You got him back. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Here. Take the painting. <laughs> Thanks. No use. I got for it. Go on. Get up top with my sister and the baby. Save them. What's that? No, Jack, no. Not without you. Hush now. Hush. 
There'll be no luck for men like me up top. I'll try me luck back here, in the stern. Get moving. It's best to be gone now. Take me to the boats. Thank you. I'll not forget this. It's first class, I'm in. Yes, it is. I'll never forget what you done. God protect you. Thanks. Uh, hey, Zydal, I've got the painting. What do you have for me? Here's the painting. Please, the painting. Hand it to me. Take the painting. And since I am a man of my word, the antidote. And in the spirit of the evening, I will even tell you where she is. Sasha's cabin, A14. Hey, Conkling. The boats are full. There's no more room. No more. When these boats go, that's it. We're trapped. We'll drown. I'm getting on, you understand? They'll throw out somebody else. I've got money. I'll give them thousands. I've got to get on a boat. Bad idea. Stand away from the boats. It's women and children. Women and children only. I'll shoot. Come closer and I'll... But I'm transgender. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Women and children first. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this wasn't really the time. Uh, Alright, Sasha's cab. Uh, no boy. Help me, please. Zyla was telling the truth. Here's the answer. <clears throat> God, thank you. Why has he done this? Zeta poisoned you because he wanted a painting. When Sasha has, he wouldn't let it out of his sight. Sasha ran below, towards the turbine room, to retrieve his valuables. Where's Charles? I don't know. Can it matter now? At least Charles t gave a guess <laughs> where you were. Get to the lifeboats now. Meet me then on the boat deck with the necklace. It's a new start. Go now. We'll leave together. Sasha went down to the turbine room, you say. Speaking of which, where's. Vlad still down there? Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Things are getting a little stressful right now. Turbine room down here. Oh, found me and Sasha. Is he dead? Yes, Sasha cared only for himself, not Serbia, not the Black Hand. This is war. Deserters are shot like dogs. Maybe you want this. The English Lord's necklace. Those are 
Frey, Cap. Hate to break it to you. The money for the black hand. Then you will see somewhere, sometime, within a month, in a year, we strike. We will start a fire. A fire that will destroy the Austrian oppressors. Destroy Europe. And all Serbs will know freedom. Good idea, Vlad. I must leave. I must get on a lifeboat. Once again, I must ask for your help. Find a way to let me board a lifeboat unnoticed. Women and children first is the rule. I can get you into first class. What? How? Disguise yourself as a woman with this shawl. A disguise? No. I die like a man. Uh, drowning won't help your cause. You can get me into the first class? To the boats? What can I give you? You have nothing of value to me. Take this shawl. Give it to me! If I disguise myself, I can reach the boats. Yep. Uh, Sasha. What a mess. This is especially painstake or like nerve wracking because I'm just like, oh, I don't want to hit the wrong key. You made it. Yes, I did. Time left. Now get up on the boat deck. Orders to be maintained. Last thing we need is a riot. Now get up on the boat deck. You're like a robot just spitting out bits of information. Oh. <clears throat> Oh boy. What are you still doing here? The boats. The boats. I can't find them. Everyone's gone. The officer, he wanted to put me in a boat with people I didn't know. But it's not that bad, is it? We won't die. No, we won't. The boats. I must find the right one. The right boat. Try to save yourself. The boats. I must find the right one. I must. I can't go with just anyone. Hey, Trask. Left. Get the <coughs> and go. I am nuisance this physical plane. Don't miss it at all. Will you save yourself? I've been trying to convince Mrs. Cashmore to go. Silly snot, that's her life book, filled with only the best people. Well, the social register will sink like the rest of us. Bye, Trask. You have the boat pass? Good. Use it wisely. You've changed the past. Now, change the future. Hurry! Hey. Sorry. There's really nothing more to say. Hey, Zidon. That's an irritating habit of appearing most unexpectedly. You'll never leave this ship alive. <sighs> Such disapproving looks. And you are wrong. I will leave the ship alive. Get me off this ship and the painting and its plans are yours. Alright. I am a patriot. But I prefer to be a living, but not a dead patriot. I think Mr. Riviera has given you something, yes? Do we make a deal? The pass for the painting. I'll try. A deal. But first, the pass. Hey, Jack. You saved me, sister. I'm grateful, you know. Ain't gonna be much longer, is it? No. Nope. I was just looking out over there. The lights there. Ship lights. 
The captain. He told me to row one of the boats for them. Too late now. Much too late. Oof. Oh, hey, Georgia. You made it. There's just one boat left. I'll join you if I can. Hurry. Oh, God, please hurry. I'm hurrying. Yes! Ah, so you've done your best to help. Quick, we've space for one more. Get in. Damn it. <sighs> now! Boy, my adrenaline. Yes, I'll go. <laughs> There's no more time. Get in, you can go. Get in, damn you. It's an order. <laughs> Tell them we did our best. Tell them. Oh. Oh, he's saluting. What a mess. That is. So why are you, why is the last smokestack smoking? Maybe just all the boilers or something all just blowing up, so it all just goes up through there anyway. I remember my older brother and I were criticizing this. He was like, it didn't go down that fast because we had seen the movie, but this game was actually made before the movie. 96. There it goes. Back at the start. Vlad left the sinking ship without the Rubiot, nor did he have the real Lambeth diamonds. The Black Hand never got its funds, money intended to finance a wave of terrorism across the Balkans. One of the intended targets, the heir to the Austrian throne, Archduke Franz Ferdinand. His murder might have started a war. We were lucky. We got peace instead. As for the painting, it left with me. <laughs> the plans proved useless. In the month following the sinking, the war office scrapped the proposed deployments in a cost-cutting measure. But the canvas? <laughs> As the only artifact saved from the Titanic, the painting became famous. Along with its creator, a rather excitable Austrian named... Adolf Hitler, who makes a lucrative career to this day, <laughs> peddling overpriced Alpine vistas to the carriage trade. I left the ship with Willie's notebook. Eventually, it found its way to the Russians. The Tsar's secret police were grateful, and the names Stalin, Lenin, and Trotsky vanished from history. The communist revolution aborted. I didn't really realize it then, but that night 30 years ago was one of history's most crucial. Though the Titanic carried 1,500 to the death, a peaceful world would be their epitaph. Our 
mission was a success. With no wars or bloody revolutions to derail us, prosperity and progress has flowed into every corner of the globe. Huh. The Pearl the Harbor was supposed to have happened. Known only to the privileged few before the Titanic sailed. Today, on April 14th, 1942, I am leaving the service to retire in a world of peace. One can only imagine how different it could have been, would have been, if we had failed. Hmm. A painting at the end was uh, one of the paintings in Sasha's cabin. Wow, I actually managed to do that in one run. Thought I was gonna... I guess I managed to do it because... Yeah, I didn't talk to the two sailors or something, but... <clears throat> yeah. Ah. Oh. Good job, everybody. Hmm, actors. Sasha Barbican, Kevin Garrett, good job, Eric Burns, Eric S. Quest, Stephanie Burns, Stephanie Quest, Quist, excuse me. Ah, oh, they got the same first names and also same last names. So are they, are they a couple in real life too? <laughs> that's great. Daisy Cashmore, Lona Livingston, Andrew Conkling, good job, Michael Prescott, Beatrice Stewart for coughing, coughing, good job, Vlad Demonic, Tom Appleton. And he's got the same uh, same last name as uh, the two main dudes who did the game. Henry, okay, of course, Jones is, Edward Hacker, Jack Hacker, Austin Staub, Jason. Aw, so Jack Hacker and the baby, they've got the same last name, so is that his son or something in real life? That's funny. Shayla Hacker, Michelle Papa, Willie Von Hader, that's Sean and uh, good job. Lord Charles Lambeth, good job. Is Leon, good job. Lift Attendant, Eric White, Claire Slimehouse, Stacy, and a third officer, Mara John Mayer. Probably did the voice of. Dick Carlson's voice to the, the the main character or, or the the player's character. Penny Pringle, Pamela Hurley, good job, Pamela. The uh, purser, James Richardson, good job. Beauty Gravia, Rand Cabos, Seaman One, Seaman Two, Seaman Three, Bob Klaus. Oh yeah, there was, he kept appearing in the in the credits. That name. Good job, Matt Sutherland, Tom Parkhill, John Smells, Terry S Sneed. <laughs> That's so perfect. Stoker, Douglas C. Rocket, Leland Trask, Phil Campbell. Good job, Reverend Edgar Trout, Ed Wright. Good job, Colonel Zidal, William Vincent. Good job. Voices. Good job, everybody. Photography. <clears throat> These are real pictures too. Tom Appleton, Cyber Puppet. Oh yeah, that's the guy who played Vlad. He's the first one listed among the Cyber Puppet animators. Cool. Christian, Bob Klaus again. Uh, the tour. Bob Klaus again. He does a lot of stuff. Bob Klaus again. Bob Klaus again. Eric Quist, that's the guy who, did, who was the photographer, or Eric Burns, Installation Gameplay, gameplay Guides. Administration, Eric Quist again, the photographer guy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Made in top, entirely on a desktop in Knoxville, Tennessee. <laughs> Tennessee represent. Titanic Mission Time, 1996. Huh. Well, that's uh, that's the game, uh, the good ending. Anyway, I'll uh, I'll do a video pretty soon, doing all the other doing all the other endings. But yeah, great game. 
really great game, family favorite, like I said in the first video. Um, Uh, hopefully that, hopefully all that guitar doesn't, uh, isn't in my recording so much, but, uh, oh well, it's the price you pay with house mates. Anyway, <laughs> um, thank you all so much for watching, you guys always God bless, and I'll see you next time. Ciao.